you deserve the glory and the honor tonight we lift our hands and worship as we praise your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor father we lift our hands in worship as we praise you are great for you are great you're the miracle so great there is no oh there is no one like you wave your hands and tell him there is no one your hands and express your gratitude to the king of kings lord i thank you his presence is here lord thank you thank you for giving us the grace thank you for your power thank you for the ministry of the holy spirit Go ahead and thank him for wisdom. Thank you for grace. Mighty God. Mighty God. Thank him as a family of faith. For doing what only God can do. Lord we thank you. Thank you for the anointing. Thank you for the miracles. Come on, express your thanks and gratitude. You escape the edge of the sword. You escape the wickedness of man. He said, if the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say, Hallelujah. Let my life be the temple of your spirit. Let my spirit Feel the warmth of your embrace. Let me be a holy habitation where your spirit is pleased to dwell. Can we just take that part again? Let my life be the temple of your spirit let my spirit feel the warmth of your embrace let me be a holy habitation where your spirit is pleased to dwell is pleased to that's our desire oh lord i want to know your glory i want to offer a sacrifice of Spirit, 
Zetapakapo Zambreas Tabakate Lim de Capo Zekabaria Tabambra Stikete Balarabash Rapakabo Shabamba Tekapalia Daba Impras Tabakaba Shekete Belegerox Mante Capasata Prate Capadia Daba Seleke Pataka Pragere Belebo Shampra Tabababa Rakataka Tabaladabas Pray for a few minutes in the spirit, will you? Sata Pakata Baliaraba Manka Baba Baka Prosaka Takata Baliaraba Kata Frakata Baliaraba Bosha Manka Paka Pasikate Sapariaraba Kampresaka Baliaraba Shampra Papati Kata Kapras Tepande Cross Tapariaraba Pasheka Bosha We desire to know your glory Shaka Pariaraba Sekata Baliaraba Le Pariaraba Bosha Sampra Taka Baliaraba Bosha Seka Pariaraba Bosha Prosa Pandekai Ampra Kata Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight for the privilege. How many of you know it's always a privilege? It's always a privilege to worship and to bless his name. That's why we don't take it for granted. We never allow ourselves to be too familiar with his presence. Because in his presence, that's where we receive the miracles, the signs, the wonders, the transformations that only him can bring. I don't know why you're here tonight. But I need you to know that the Lord is here to bless you. And I believe. I am convinced. The Bible says they heard the word just like we did. But the word did not profit them. Not be mixed with faith. Lord, I believe you. You cannot be joking with me. I believe you. I believe. I believe, Lord, I believe. Lift your hands and make this Lord, commitment. Say, Lord, you're too serious to be playing. When you say you will bless me, you mean it. When you say I'm the head, you mean it. I believe, Lord, I believe. When you say I'm anointed, you mean it. I believe I believe I believe from your spirit Yahweh Yahweh You are bigger Lord You are bigger than what people say Yahweh You are bigger than what people say Yahweh Yahweh you are better than what people say, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. We worship you. We worship you. We honor you. We worship you. Sing Yahweh, Yahweh. One more time. Yahweh, 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 we honor you, we worship you, we worship you, 
You are the only one who can bless, can change, who can heal. And so we bless you. My faith reaches out to you. Do you believe tonight? I believe. Oh, yes. Your word for me. Let your faith reach out tonight. My faith reaches out to you. I Focus on his ability. Your word. Your word. My faith is reaching out to you. My faith reaches out to you. Bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says the nation of Israel could not enter their rest because of unbelief. He said today if you hear his voice, harden not your heart as it were in the days of the provocation in Israel. He said let us therefore labor to enter that rest. He said for he that is entered into his rest is ceased from his works. He that has entered into his rest ceased from his works. Oh, we believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, everybody good to see us walk around to 10 people give them a big hug tell them it's been a while don't frown laugh smile hug your friends hug your enemies Hallelujah. God bless you. Good to have you around. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm moving from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. I'm going from one level of grace to another. In the name of Jesus. My faith is rising. And the glory of the Lord is upon me. I am the head and not the tail above and not beneath the grace of God is at work in me his anointing is alive in my spirit in the name of Jesus I have authority over snakes and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy my path is as a shining light it shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day the grace of God is at work in me. I am the head and not the tail. Hallelujah. Give God a shout. The Bible says, we having the spirit of faith. As it is written, I believed. Have I spoken? Say, so we believe and therefore we speak. The operation of the spirit of faith is that you are convinced and then you declare. Hmm. Hebrews 11 verse 3 says, Through faith, and that the world, the systems were framed by the word of God. Hallelujah. We celebrate the ministry of the word of God. I don't know about you, but I belong to that category of people Bible says they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh it didn't say they are life to Christians they are life to those who find them 
and health to their flesh hallelujah be seated god bless you good to have everyone around please bring out your bios your notebooks and let's get to the word hallelujah is it possible to have some of those people standing just share these vacant seats please ushers protocol help them some of these seats that are vacant please pick them up and let the people have the seats all right some of them can come to the front hallelujah please let let's not have vacant seats around if there are vacant seats just highlight the ushers even if it's for you and you'll be standing please let the people sit down Jesus told them if they don't sit down there's no bread. Hallelujah. Don't feel bad those of you standing there still you are sitting in the spirit. The Bible says so. Hallelujah. Praise God. What I want to teach tonight is very important and is very powerful. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, God is helping us to build, to train, please listen, to equip his people with the understanding of the word of god the ministry of the holy spirit hallelujah we're bringing everyone by the grace of god to a point where we know the holy spirit the bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom and the strong man in his strength but let him that glory have glory in this that he knoweth me and understandeth me hallelujah the pride of the christian is in the knowledge of the lord hallelujah and so God is helping us to know him by his spirit to understand the nature of God. The kingdom of God is divided into two. Number 1 is the nature of God. You understand the nature, the person, the character. Hallelujah. And the end of that revelation is you conform to the image of the son. Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. He said, but we all with unveiled face, beholding him as in a mirror, we are changed. Hallelujah. We are changed into that same image. And so the knowledge of the person of Jesus is enhanced through the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And in the place of prayer, in the place of fellowship, in the place of intimacy, we get to know who he is. Ejimi said something very powerful. He said it's not about receiving miracles and not knowing the person. It's not just good to know the word. You must know the author. Hallelujah. You can know about me by reading my books and listening to my messages, but you know me by interacting with me. Hallelujah. And when it comes to intimacy with the Holy Spirit, this is not a... It's not a conventional, it's not a, it's, a, it's not a collective thing. The Bible says, he, not them that dwell in the secret. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. There is a revelation of God that you have in the place of intimacy. That's why we say koinonia is intimacy and partnership. Hallelujah. When you know the person of the Holy Spirit, you understand the nature and the person of God. Then you get to understand his principles. Hallelujah. His principles. The value system of heaven. The modus operandi uh, with which the territory of heaven functions by. So when you talk about the principles of God or the principles of Jesus Christ, is his value system, his code of conduct, his way of doing things. Hallelujah. You never can call yourself transformed until you truly understand the value system of heaven, the laws of the kingdom, the principles of the kingdom. For in the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom it will equip you to rule and reign as a king in this life Le let me tell you something you can know the lord are you listening to me you can know the lord you can pray in tongues you can do all of these things you find yourself conforming to the image of the christ life but it takes the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom 
he says and i will give you the keys of the kingdom and whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven why will all of these things happen because i will give you the keys keys represent access hallelujah i will give you the laws and the principles how to understand and to navigate through my system and this is what we teach all the time it's not you don't empower people just by teaching stories you don't empower people when when you go to class the lecturer does not give you stories he teaches you what principles the knowledge of your principles is what you will use to answer your exam questions because it's not the same question they will ask you but it will require the application of the same principle can i tell you something there is nothing you will face in life that will not require the operation of kingdom principles are you listening to me so the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom will help you and guide you through life there are so many believers that have no knowledge on the principles of the kingdom hallelujah I was i was i think i was teaching in a meeting and i said many believers do not understand the knowledge of the principles of the kingdom that's why we use whatever key do you know that not every key opens every door every key cannot open your room but it's a key is that correct now when you begin to handle every key because it comes from god does not mean it to open the door you must know the right key that opens every door and it is the understanding it says get wisdom and in all thy getting get understanding wisdom tells you what to do understanding tells you how to do it hallelujah and tonight i want to share with us something very powerful romans chapter 12. when a believer gets born again and filled with the spirit of god the bible tells us that there is a translation i always say this from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son hallelujah now that initial experience look up please that initial experience at salvation does not affect your soul and your body necessarily are you listening to me that transformation that regeneration happens uh, from the realm of your spirit but it takes the renewing of your mind it takes changing values philosophies priorities and this is what the holy spirit one of the primary ministries of the holy spirit in the life of the believer is not to make the person look anointed alone but to bring the person to that point where you have been translated from one system one value system one code of operation into another system and the degree to which you yield to the holy spirit to align is the degree to which you will find yourself walking in consistency with the word of god hallelujah romans chapter 12 verse 1 i beseech you therefore brethren so he's talking to brethren i beseech you therefore brethren that ye by the mercies of god that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto god which is your reasonable act of service verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that he may prove that prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of god the bible says do not be conformed in other words there is a mindset please listen to me carefully this is a very 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 important message especially at this time in nigeria and in the world hallelujah the bible tells us that we are not the same with they that are of the world do you believe that do you believe it it's one thing to accept something it's another thing to believe to believe means to conceive as a reality in your spirit hallelujah the bible separates us and it lets us know that we do not belong to the category of the world the carnal minded the natural man god has exalted us to a realm where we operate by another law we operate by different sets of rules hallelujah and it's not enough to confess that you are a christian you must allow the holy spirit 
and the ministry of the word to bring you to that position experientially otherwise you will find yourself born again but you will not be able to walk in the victory of jesus christ are you listening to me so this is very very important i'm talking tonight about a victorious mindset write it a victorious mindset or the victorious mindset really i found out something interesting in scripture please look up as i began to search through scripture i found out that there were certain things that made god angry there were not many times in the bible that god was angry even with his people but i found out that there were certain things in scripture that every time it occurred it made god angry i mean god was angry and he responded to it in a very in a very interesting way and so i found out that if we do not align ourselves we'll get god so angry with us all the time hallelujah the bible says do not be conformed what does that mean that means that there is pressure attempting to bring your mindset listen a mindset talks of um your idea a sum total of your ideologies a sum total of your philosophies your value system what makes up your belief system what um what informs your convictions about god about men about life and can i tell you something we come from different backgrounds and as diverse as our backgrounds are so are our mindsets we have packed every kind of thing from different systems different experiences and when we all come into the kingdom the bible says we are being called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation what happens you come as you are but you don't remain as you are are you listening to me the problem with the body of christ is we want to come as we are and remain as we are no no you come as you are and then the holy spirit engages you in the ministry of transformation hallelujah your walk with the spirit should bring a predictable result i should be able to look at you after a season of walking with the word and with the spirit you should look like something and that portrait is the one we call jesus christ hallelujah that's why the bible says let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 he said let this mind the word let there is permit permit this mindset jesus walked upon the earth he had a mindset are you listening to me jesus had a mindset he had he he had a way he behaved the way he responded to people the way he when when they they believed that um there would not be fish he spoke as one with authority they caught uh, a prostitute and brought to him and he responded he seemed to operate uh with a value system that was not known to the then jewish nation and they were very surprised what kind of mind is this how do you think what is your thinking pattern like can i tell you something every successful man in life has a mindset whether in the secular or in the kingdom and a healthy mindset is not part of the gift of the spirit are you listening to me oh no the bible says get wisdom by the truth he puts a pie strap there hallelujah you cannot receive a kingdom mindset as an impartation no why because there are already forces in your mind the bible calls them strongholds the weapons of our warfare the bible says are not carnal but mighty through god hallelujah what do those weapons do to the pulling down of strongholds they exist in the realm of the mind it's a casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of christ and bringing every thought to the obedience of christ one of the biggest ministries of a believer 
is to align not just to preach and go for evangelism to align with the holy spirit such that he begins to work in you and produce in you a kind of mindset that only belongs to kingdom citizens you are not just a kingdom citizen because you bear a christian name even if your name is kingdom it doesn't make you a kingdom citizen hallelujah there is a mindset and can i tell you something dr mike mudok said something and i respect so much he said the world has embraced the person of jesus christ but we have rejected his principles i mean the church while the world has rejected the person of jesus christ but they have embraced his principles how true hallelujah and so there is not just it's not just enough for us to pray we've had 21 days prayer and fasting you can never rise above the level of your mindset are you listening to me you can never know i will show you from scripture that the mindset of a man can limit god in his life psalm 78 psalm 78 please listen to this message very carefully and let the holy spirit psalm 78 god began to walk with the nation of israel and he showed them mighty things in egypt hallelujah the ten plagues and he parted the red sea he did a lot of things to prove to them that he was lord but they had a mindset do you realize that they had been in egypt for 430 years listen 430 years is enough for you to adopt a mindset because you were born there are you listening to me now when the lord called them that's why he had to separate them from egypt when god calls a man he takes you out of the environment that created that wrong mindset and then he walks on you then he sends you back as a deliverer that's what he did to moses moses was born with a mindset he took moses out to the back side of the mountain for 40 years let me announce to you that god is not in a hurry he can wait are you listening to me for 40 years he wanted to use moses but the mindset of moses kept limiting god until he walked on moses in a way and a manner that his mind could now release god and then he said all right let's walk together the exact same thing happened to abraham god had a blessing for abraham in his spirit and he wanted to communicate it but the mindset of abraham would not allow the lord to bless him and one day the lord said how do i open this guy's mindset he said abraham come out look at the stars he said count them and abraham began to count and he could not count he said now this is how i will bless you finally abraham believed god and it was counted unto him as righteousness hallelujah psalm 78 verse 10 they kept not the covenant of god and refused to walk in his law and forgot his works and his wonders that he had shown them marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of egypt in the field of zoan and then you read down verse 17 and they sin yet the more against him by provoking the most high interesting this is the sin they committed what was the sin the bible says they provoked the most high in the wilderness so god can be provoked they provoked the most high hallelujah the bible says and they tested god in their heart by asking according to their desire yea they spoke against god and they said can god furnish a table in the wilderness that's verse 19. he said can god can god furnish a table in the wilderness are you listening to me after all of the things that the lord did to them god told them i'm taking you into a land that flows with milk and honey and those guys would not believe god one moment they are up and the next moment they are saying moses would have gone back to egypt you see the mindset was still there can i tell you something it took a day for them to cross the red sea but it took more than 40 years for egypt to leave their mind the fact that you are born again and you have left the world system does not mean the mindset of the world has left you it will take the operation of the spirit of god you know why i'm saying that because you have built your entire life and trust on those values you grew up with them 
They taught you those values in schools. Now God is saying you've got to drop those values. Hallelujah. You have grown up with your father talking to you all the time and say, son, in this life, money doesn't grow on trees. No giving, don't give anybody anything. All I give you, keep it. It belongs to you. Then you begin to study the Bible and the Bible says there is he that scattered and yet increased. There is he that withholded more than is me. Two kingdoms are fighting. There is a war that begins to fight in you. Your father is saying, well, if you like, do what you want to do. And the word of God is saying, this is the principle. The Bible says in Malachi chapter 3, say, will a man rob God? He said, yet, ye have, wherein have we robbed you? He said, the whole nation of Israel, bring in your tithes that there may be meat in my house. He said, and prove me now here which saith the Lord. If I will not open the windows of heaven and shower upon you a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. He said, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake and it shall not destroy the fruit of your ground. Neither shall your vine cast its young before its time. All of these blessings. You see, but you have been built in a system. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, if that same spirit that resurrected Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body but you've lived all your life on drugs nothing is wrong with drugs and medicine and all of that but i'm telling you that there is a higher life are you listening to me and now you have to start contending with those laws you have grown up with a mindset and you live in a world that says well whatever whatever will be will be whatever will be will be if i die today i die if i'm sick today i'm sick whatever will be whatever life gives me then you begin to study in god's word and he says that this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth he said thou thou should be careful that you observe it he said then shall thy ways be prosperous and thou shall have good success hmm and then deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 1 says it shall come to pass in that day if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the lord to do and observe all that i commanded this day he said that i will set you on high and all these blessings shall come upon you and shall overtake you there are two kingdoms fighting the mindset that you got from your village living with your grandmother living with all kinds of things whenever the lord begins to speak of blessings you are not ready for those things because of a mindset do you realize how that satan has crippled the church the body of christ the nation of nigeria by giving us a mindset that came from the african culture are you listening to me there is a mindset that the african culture gave us is a mindset of servitude we inherited it when when the colonial masters came after they finished with nigeria they left a mindset of servitude and that mindset still follows even intelligent students on campus because the moment a student enters school the next thing he's thinking of he do, he's not thinking of productivity he's not thinking of creativity he's thinking of what servanthood let me just get somebody and let me be a secretary a mindset they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god and the bible said that statement provoked god and god was angry how dare you limit me hallelujah so we're saying lord bless me lord make me this i am the head and not the tail calm down if you do not understand the principles of the kingdom be sure that you're going to live a frustrated life are you getting blessed the principles do you know something about god the bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne that's a dangerous statement that means the fact that you are a christian does not necessarily mean that you just walk in victory like that there are rules that you engage and if you don't engage them i tell you the truth you will leave gray only to tell your stories to your children this is what is happening in the nation of nigeria But if we are to be the victorious people, there is a mindset. Say after me, there is a mindset. I need to have. Say there is a mindset. And that mindset comes from the word of God. The Bible says do not be conformed. That means refuse it. 
if you don't refuse it you will inherit it that mindset is in the films you watch that mindset is in the news you listen to every day they are called mind control systems they give you a false view about life you finish watching a film and you are afraid about life there's no audacity to walk in grace and power again it's a mindset that inflicts fear it's a mindset that inflicts defeat it's a mindset that keeps you in servitude and so you are always looking for someone to help you when you are the deliverer that's the mindset that makes us to blame our parents is the mindset that makes nigerians never to take responsibility over their lives there is no nation in the world that runs away from responsibility like nigerians the government is not doing this my father did this they told my father to be serious he wasn't serious okay now that it has happened what are you doing about it my stupid father i'm this and keep insulting people there is a mindset and many of us are taking those mindsets and we are laughing we are saying hallelujah i'm entering a blessed place you are not you are not you are entering in the realm of the spirit but it may never manifest in this realm hallelujah the bible says the just shall live by faith what does it mean to have faith it means that you lay your life upon the foundation of the integrity of god's word hmm. hebrews 11 it says now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen he said for by it this faith the elders obtained report a good report verse 3 says through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god the system hallelujah we live in a culture where we are taught to respond to things in carnal ways hallelujah ah boko haram where will this come and happen boko haram and people begin you see look at the panic that is around you feel it in the air many believers your faith has become stupidity in your room you laugh at yourself and say man is this god thing serious abi we are just fooling ourselves here it's only because you have not said it in your mind you have said let's keep god aside though and walk with common sense now <laughs> now don't laugh it's a dangerous mindset if it does not change you'll never be victorious in life men who rule the world are men of conviction are you listening to me if you get up today believing that this speaker is god if you can convince people you'll find followers that will follow you this is the issue dr Ma dead men rule the world the ideologies of dead men are the ones who are ruling the world and those who are alive are picking those mindsets and we are running with them tonight god wants to give us a mindset for victory are you listening to me there is a mindset jesus came from a city called nazareth let's start from there the bible makes us to understand that when nathaniel was told to come and see jesus he said can anything good come out of where can anything good come out of kano can anything good come out of zamfara can anything come out of your village that the map is not in this country but he said can anything good come out of nazareth when people speak like this they have a track record in other words they have seen nazarenes not become anything and he said can anything good that's the first mindset that you need to conquer many of us give a lot of excuses there are many of us today who lie and say me i'm from i'm from lagos then when there's a flood in lagos say no 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 i'm from Bielsa. what kind of life do you want to live you know why you are defining your life by where you are coming from not where you are going to can anything good come out of nazareth do you not realize that those who have changed the course of history came out out of nowhere men who were resilient in their convictions took responsibility over their destiny dared the word of god the bible talks not the bible history tells us about maria woodward eater men and women like Catherine kuman these were ordinary people they dared to take the word of god when they saw the word of god they said lord if this is what you are saying i will change history with it and they refused 
Their parents said, don't be ambitious. They said, no way. I know where I'm going. Men of conviction. I do not see men of conviction in the church. We are men who are, our faith is shaky and slippery. And that tells us it's not founded upon the principles of God's word. When you truly believe the word, you can die believing it. The depth of your conviction is the degree to which you can manifest faith. Mm. If I die of sickness today, the last word that will come out of my mouth before I die is by his stripes, I am healed. The Bible says they limited God. Have you been limiting God? Every time God said he wants to bless you, in your mind, you give God the person to use and bless you. My uncle. God, you must be talking about Uncle Sam. Strangers shall feed your flock. He you said your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Do you believe this thing? See, let me tell you something. I'm very serious tonight. Do you believe it? Don't just nod. This is a question God is asking because life will ask you and you must answer. Every single one born of a woman, if you must cross this button into greatness, life will ask you the depth of your conviction. Jesus said, destroy this temple and I will build it in three days. Ah, I must be a man of conviction. Do you believe the word of God? or you are just holding on to god and then putting your leg on something else and say lord this journey we need to use wisdom we need to do here and then hang on because you have a track record of failing people anytime so i'm not ready to let this thing fall in an ocean look at what he told peter peter said if it be thou bid me come and he said peter do you believe me this much come let me prove to you i'm the one capable satire you will have to step out of that boat and walk upon the waters this is what makes champions if it be thou bid me come and thomas was saying peter peter how many times did i call you he said well peter i would like to record the history of how you died you can go and the bible says when peter began to walk see every time you read about miracles in the bible realize that before the miracle happened the, the people were not laughing the way you are laughing when you read that story every testimony you hear here at that point it was a moment of faith mindsets are you listening to me the bible tells us in the book of numbers remember i sent a post it says they were how many how many spies many of you don't know some are saying four how can it be four <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah how many 12 12 spies were sent now god had already spoken god gets annoyed when he speaks and we don't believe this is what they call limitation god is not insult let me tell you something um if I tell you, if I tell you that we will organize the welfare to make cake for you, and later I see you sweating and praying and doubting, and say, hey, will this cake come? I look at you and say, what is the big deal? Did you not see people celebrate and enjoy cake here? Yeah? This is exactly how God gets angry. When God speaks to you, he weighs his ability first. And then he looks at his ability and says, I'm able. Go ahead, trust me. But we have several believers that have mindsets that are not programmed for victory. And hear me, friends, some of you are in final years, some of you are already working. There is the mindset that is going to bring destruction for many upon this land. This is why I am preaching to you. Many of you may feel this message is not important, but the Nigeria you used to know, Nigeria, you are you listening to me? Many of you have been shielded by your parents and families. So you have not had the opportunity to see the reality of what I'm saying. Life will be waiting for you in front of Contagora Square. As soon as you are carrying your, you are dropping your graduation gown, you say, welcome. There is a system. But you must ride against it and say, no way. Hallelujah. Ten of them came. They said, Moses, were you stupid when you sent us? Do I ever try this? It's even by God's grace that we came back. Are you playing? 
those guys had six fingers six toes they were of the descendants of 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 of, of, of the, the they were the anarchites we we cannot lie there was there was honey and there was this the fruit there we at least we were able to taste it but kai forget about it we're not getting there go and tell god that that promised land you should carry it and change the location and while they were speaking god was listening god was joining in the conversation and god was not finding it funny are you listening to me oh hallelujah the name of one of the two is joshua hmm. the bible says but joshua and caleb came they said boy let's go up at once why are we waiting look at two people the same place they said let's go up we are able to take these guys we tasted the fruit i mean this fruit is we need to get these guys out of the way joshua how are you getting them let's go at once mm. at once at once that a student can look at his result and you can see probation and while they are laughing at you you laugh and say the world changer is still there tears may be in my eyes my lecturer insulted me but there is a mindset i refuse to conform i refuse to call myself a failure it's an abomination it's not in the constitution of my kingdom i refuse to bow i refuse to give in i'm walking in my high places it's a mindset there are many of us that are too weak words kill you at once when someone looks at you maybe your lecturer or someone and just says guy you you don't you look like a failure for two weeks you will be lean you will be sick they say why he said somebody said so don't you realize that you need this kind of people on your path to success who else will testify he make a table before me in the presence not the absence listen you must refuse to bow this world is a wicked world it will make you bow to things that are not consistent with the word of god anything i refuse to say anything about my life that is not i refuse it the bible says finally brethren philippians chapter 4 verse 8 whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are noble whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are if there be any good report if there be any virtue think on these things the bible tells us what to think on are you listening to me it says finally brethren whatsoever things are what how many of you have been thinking on lies a lie is anything god did not say anything whether your government said it a lie is anything god did not say we have believed in a lie as a country we have believed in a lie as individuals we have believed in a lie many ministries have believed in a lie many people have believed in a lie oh it says whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are of good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise it tells you what what have you been thinking on hallelujah you carry your result of first semester 100 level and you're in 400 level you are just looking at it and you're just looking at it and you are meditating you're looking at it and then maybe the person who printed out the result wrote something and said funny student exclamation mark and you look and you stand in the mirror you ask someone say sorry am i funny what why are people saying this or somebody sees you and say you self you, every time yellow trousers or every time yellow trousers and you go back and you are crying do you not see your future do you not see that it is better than your yesterday you must refuse see not conforming means refusing there is a level of stubbornness that will take you to your promised land you must refuse you can't bend into everything do you know how many people have talked me down in life Oh, you don't want to imagine but i'm standing and moving by the glory of god every day do you listen I, i'm serious you see here now and see koinonia today do you know do you know how that we have had to be resilient walking by the word 
many of us do not believe the word enough you say oh lord this semester is going to be a good semester for me three weeks into the semester your uncle didn't send the money he promised and now you're in trouble no gary no nothing your roommate say, better come and join let's share gary and keep this your stupidity here and then he say, it's true jerry and then no no there's nothing wrong go and take the gary but say lord i thank you because i'm doing this thing my days are numbered i know that the word of god is translating me i live by these principles are you listening to me you're sleeping and you sense any demonic challenge you don't just get up and say hey where is jakes jakes oh no no stand up and say i have been made to sit with christ in heavenly places far above principalities powers thrones dominions the problem is we shout with these things in church and as we are stepping out we drop it near our seats and then we laugh wow church was great do you not realize that you are supposed to take this truth and go and apply it in your life hallelujah they call and they say armed robbers just robbed your house and they injured people and they are crying many people just say god why uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. you don't speak like that does it matter what have, look at your life do you like it don't you realize that this system is governed by words this is a word planet your words can create and can destroy where the word of a king is there is power don't you know the height of dominion is that you speak and things happen kings don't speak and go and make it happen they speak and it happens that's why they are called kings bible says rule thou in the midst of your enemies when god speaks to you he does not speak to you as though you have challenges he just speaks moses go and conquer jericho i mean, I mean moses go, uh, take the people out of out of israel joshua go and conquer jericho do you believe the lord or are you limiting him with your mindset are you allowing the mindset you receive from culture many of us get up in the morning and you don't have time to prophesy and speak over your life you are ashamed of it because of your roommates let me tell you something tonight solidify your convictions are you listening to me there is nowhere i will go that i will not be able to uh, uh, many of us are not proud of these laws of the spirit because we are not even convinced that they work hallelujah But I choose to operate the law of faith. I choose to live, to embrace the mindset that will make for my victory in this life. Refuse, refuse, refuse to say anything that is not consistent with God's word. Refuse it. Refuse it. You must declare and you must abide by the principles of God. 10,000 naira comes into your, your hand. The devil is saying this money is small. These koinonia people say, we want to collect our tithe. Keep chopping our money. You will keep getting poor and broke. And a day will come where you will be angry at those who are rich. This is the problem with Nigerians. When things don't work for you, you get sad with those that is working for. When they take light in your house, your last gen is not working. Another person is putting gen that has been running since afternoon and you don't look stupid neighbor with their children. What did they do to you? <laughs> they didn't offend you. And when the man, you see, let me tell you something. Lack of adherence to the word of God has severe consequences. But I choose to believe the word of God. I speak only words of blessings. I speak only words of increase. I speak only words of glory. My path is as a shining light that shines brighter and brighter. He and I is stepping into greater realms of glory, greater realms of power, greater realms of impact. You must learn to speak like that. Your father looks at you 
and say, ah, it has happened. Say, what has happened? Say, they just sacked me. Say, daddy, I know the Bible says all things work together for good. Relax. God is doing something. He knows how to make a way in the wilderness. Your father will say, ah, ah, which fellowship do you attend? And then you get ashamed of what you just confessed. You're like, I'm talking too much. I'm here. I'm doing pastor. What is the meaning of that? Yes! The Bible says they shall call you ministers of our God. You must be convinced. You must be convinced. You are reading with your roommates and you are doing it and the thing is not entering. And maybe your roommate is not a very serious person. And then you know that this thing is not entering. The Bible says there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the almighty make it men of understanding. And the, the spirit is convicting you. Just close your book and take some. Just stroll around and pray in tongues more. And like, hey God, don't disgrace me now. Eh? The way this guy is already doing as if he likes me. You want to pour sand in my garden now. And you cannot turn. Even when you are praying, you are covering your mouth. Why can't you pray loud? When you are telling people your problems, you tell everybody, you don't whisper it. But when you are praying for the solution, you just know. I know my redeemer live it. Hmm. The spirit of faith. Do you believe what I'm teaching? Or you're just laughing and enjoying koinonia tonight? You hear that armed robbers have attacked somebody and they have injured the they have injured your parents or any of your loved ones even when you hear that one of your loved ones is dead that looks like the end of it it's better for you to just say lord you are faithful than to start asking questions that you are not going to get the answer you just say faithful god with tears in your eyes hallelujah i love women women have faith at the height hold on hold on hold on I mean mothers <laughs> hallelujah your mother will get up and say I had a dream in that dream I saw that God blessed us and when she's saying it everybody's just looking you know we men we are very scientific 2 plus 2 is not giving 11 you are calculating this prophecy and it's not adding up and your mother just says i know i had a dream i can't prove it all but it will happen mm. and one day the hand of prophecy will just hold you and say you remember your mother's prophecy you are the one who will make it happen you applied for unilag you found yourself in abu god is saying i know where i'm taking you you are very stubborn you will not go by yourself so let's disguise you and god is bringing you and then brings you to be receiving this word every time you are the word keeps matching up with the prophecies you have been hearing and every time you know you are getting closer you know that the miracle will not come from your father or your mother that you are that deliverer and the devil will be telling you just forget about all these things join them and jump and just go out but something in your spirit says take this word seriously it is the seed on which the miracle of your family will thrive joseph had a dream and he knew that the mandate the deliverance upon his land was was on his shoulder do you realize how great you are do you know that the burden of nations upon you and god is trusting you it does not yet appear you may not look like it but only god and time can tell how far we are going this is why i preach and shout on you the way i do i'm doing it now that i have the opportunity you see it I believe the word of God I am convinced are you convinced are you persuaded enough to speak it enough to declare it enough to stand and when you submit your project before your lecturer you just stand back and you're just mumbling tongues and he looks at you and you are not ashamed they say what are you doing you say well they call it praying in the spirit they say, church and then you say ah you just shrink back because you're a pretty lady and there are guys there embarrassment What are you ashamed of the word of god or you do not trust that it is able to bring results in your life say after me i believe the word of god and i refuse to conform it's the mindset of the kingdom that you obey god the bible says 
how that Abraham was willing to obey God unto death. Obedience unto death. Hallelujah. They give you a job in Abuja and your salary is 300,000. The moment you are dancing and preparing to go, God will say, no way. There's one teaching job around. It's 20,000. You just go. I'm leading you there. Say, ah, God, I'm not stupid like that. When I was a child, I taught like a child. I, I, I acted like a child. I suffered like a child. Now that I'm a man, no way. Obedience unto death. Now, when you are doing these things, the people around, let me tell you, before the manifestation of your miracle, you always look mad. This is why God told us, he said, the spiritual man is not like Abraham. Um, come, you are Isaac in my story now. Abraham gets Isaac and he's just singing. I believe. Hey, I believe. This, it took Abraham a long time. Sarah says, where are you going? Say to a mountain, don't worry. And the servants are just following and discussing. He says, ha! three days journey how oh, which kind of place are we going and then he gets to the end of the mountain and abraham is rising he said okay isaac let's go and isaac says daddy i see the wood i see the fire ah I, I thought we always use ram daddy where's the ram he said don't worry jehovah jireh in his mind he says son this is painful but you are that ram <laughs> obedience unto them and when Abraham took, I, I don't know how he caught Isaac. Whether he caught him and just put him, I don't know how he did it. But I know he did it. And he carried Isaac and placed Isaac and tied him while Isaac was crying. Do you, no matter how heartless you are, at that point something will ring in your heart. And God was saying, I will not change my mind. I'm still watching. Hmm. He tied Isaac and then he set fire on him abraham would have cried fire say what will i go and tell sarah sarah is waiting three days no gsm then she would have called and said oh god bring my child back and continue your journey just bring my child back are you listening to me you do not know that is it takes faith and audacity to obey god are you listening to me And he put Isaac. And when he took the knife, the Bible says in Romans chapter 4 that he had already said God was able to bring Isaac back from the dead. So he had concluded. And while he was going to bring it down, God said, My God, I've never seen a man. I mean, Adam, Enoch, they went close, but they didn't hit it. Who is this man? He said, Abraham, I swear in blessing. I will bless you in multiplying and then we sing abraham's blessings are mine hallelujah you must do what abraham did to get what he got obedience unto death hallelujah one day you just get up and while you are moving and smiling your scholarship just enters you just tell your friends hey, people the lord himself will bless us today god says hold on not too fast while you are planning for that laptop and all of this there is a need in this ministry i want you to go and empty it until you see zero naira in your account don't even leave minimum withdrawal amount say god i know i didn't hear it your thoughts towards me are thoughts of good and not of evil it can be you to bring me a future and an expected end I rebuke Satan. But the mindset for victory is the mindset that can obey God. How many of you are willing to obey God? If God says tight, tight. Many of you don't pay your tight and you are wondering why the heavens is closed. It will remain closed. You are saying the day God blesses me, that day will not come. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. And he took Isaac. Are you listening to me? Great men are men who have done crazy things in life. Upon the fact that they are convinced that the word of God works. 
Hallelujah. I remember when God told us, go on all the crusade in massacre. You better hear God before you stand before Pharaoh. Otherwise, you will die for nothing. And we went there. And God proved himself in ways that humbled us. Do you not realize that putting up a platform like Koinonia is a risk? There's no assurance that God gives you. That people are going to come, they are going to be blessed, and they will remain. Many of you, is the obedience of God that forced you from 90s to this place. Forced you. While you are going to buy suya, the angel of the Lord said, you are not buying any suya. That's your offering. Let's go. And you didn't want to go. Then God just brought the lady you liked. And you started following. You were following. Where is this lady going to? God was saying, shall follow. I'm so desperate for your destiny, you must go. And then when you came, they put you near the front. And you came during miracle service. And then you woke up later and saw them wrapping something around you. And from that day, God caught you and said, I've, I've been looking for you since your secondary school. Now I finally caught you. Say after me, I refuse to conform to the thinking pattern of the world. Say in the name of Jesus. Say one more time. In the name of Jesus, I refuse fear. I refuse defeat. I refuse failure I refuse sickness I refuse poverty I refuse weakness in the name of Jesus I experience great grace great glory favor intimacy increase yes that's how you speak at all times it becomes your confession after a while those that are not born again will start noting some people for speaking in certain ways and every time you say ah i'm looking for prosper they say are you part of those people that speak all those things they, they can laugh at you don't stop them from laughing because they will soon laugh with you for they told sarah she cannot bear a child she was past age of childbirth but when isaac came everybody came and rejoiced do you believe that God is joking with you or you are really convinced that his thoughts towards you are thoughts of good and not of evil? We are going to pray tonight. The victorious mindset. The mindset that is built upon the, God bless you. The mindset that is built, lift your Bibles if you came here with your Bible. For those of you who don't respect your Bibles, please change your mindset. Take away that torn Bible that only has New Testament. Go and dedicate the 1,000 naira you want to buy um, whatever it is with it and go and buy a good Bible and take it seriously lift your Bibles do you believe that contained in this book is a revelation of God for your life see men who have gone before us they took this word seriously are you listening to me there is no situation you or your family wants to face that somebody has not faced and conquered are you listening to me it's not new but if you can take the word of God and say, I believe, I believe. Lord, I'm convinced. Yes, I'm graduating with a third class. But Lord, I know that your thoughts towards me are thoughts of good and not. Men have called me a failure, but I believe. Even my father has called me a failure, but I believe. Those of you who want to go for ministry, you are eyeing Lagos. Victoria Island, God said, No, go sell. <laughs> now you have pledged your commitment. God says, Go sell, you had me. I will repeat myself. Pack your wife and your children and go. And now you're going and crying. You get into that land, and people say, What do you want to build? You say, A big church. They say, You're a stupid man it's because there's something wrong. But when you are celebrating your 10 years anniversary and you stand, and see the faithfulness of God. The things that I see today, God showed me as far back as 2003 and 2004. In my little mind then, I never believed. Never. Never. But God began to bring me to a point where he said, Son, never doubt me. I am more than able. And today, by the grace of God, we are all celebrating the manifestation of what God is doing. And how he's building his kingdom. And this is only the beginning. Ah, yeah. You will see things. Jesus said you will see greater things than this. You have not seen anything. 
do you value yourself this much to refuse refuse it somebody is coming and say he's going to marry you he's not he's not born again but he's very rich then there's one brother that has only palms brown palms with something like an alligator this thing on top <laughs> always coming for koinonia and praying and every time you are praying you turn you just see the person you say god i didn't see him oh i didn't see him keep looking at him there you better hold his heart and puncture it and shift it away and while you sit down you are just imagining how can i leave a rafor for somebody who is moving but you hear the person every time you see, hear them pray you see him sweating on his own, only one shirt and he's praying he's saying my life will change you are hearing it and you are just laughing and then fast forward five years you see the manifestation of the glory the beauty the splendor jesus said wait you will see the son of man in power you are seeing him in weakness now a day will come you will see the son of man in power Would have believed that i'll buy a suit and wear you people don't know my story that's why it's easy to many of you just came and met us with water here and 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 this this glass thing it wasn't like that it was jake's i'll go to their room in suleiman they would do beans and sweet potato and then i'll eat you think i didn't eat it in your 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 restaurant 30 naira beans 20 naira bread danish danish yes it was 14 era the day they increased it to 15 era it pained me because i felt the difference so don't feel bad that you are feeling it now no people were there but i didn't do what you are doing now that's what helped me to continue many of us are there and you are laughing when you finish you just say tom tom and lie and say kai dowl herself their food is not very nice now why will you tell lies don't you know you are moving forward say i'm moving forward in the name of jesus I'm moving forward my limitations of today are my testimonies of tomorrow in the name of Jesus jump up on your feet shake up at up at up at up. come on prophesy my limitations of today are my testimonies I may have nothing but if I have the Word of God I create my world I frame my world I will change my family we will change Nigeria go ahead and prophesy walk around and prophesy let the spirit of faith rise i refuse to limit god god you call me a world changer i am a world changer you call me a champion i am a champion you call me a history maker i'm a history maker come on prophesy you call me prosperous i am prosperous you call me healthy i am healthy you call me rich i am rich you call me a man of faith i am a man of faith i refuse to confirm make sure you are praying come on let's have generals praying let the generals pray let the world change us pray i am rising from grace to grace hallelujah from glory to glory by the spirit of god no limits no boundaries moving by the hand of god the grace of god is at work in my life hallelujah hallelujah prophesy i refuse to talk like them i refuse to walk like them i refuse to call failure failure I refuse to call sickness sickness i refuse to call delay delay prophesy if you came here for koinonia tonight prophesy walk round, speak let the doors of your destiny be open i'm the head and not the tail I am above and not beneath. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. The lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. The grace of God is at work in me.
the world will celebrate his grace upon my life in the name of Jesus the doors of nations are opening up to me I experience increase I experience breakthrough I experience the peace of God prophesy 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 in the name of Jesus prophesy God will not fail you God will not fail you for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy is not worthy is not worthy to be compared the sufferings in your department the sufferings in your finances the sufferings in your health the sufferings in your ministry is nothing compared with the glory that the word of God is bringing in your life hallelujah I am victorious I think only victorious thoughts I have the mindset of a victor I refuse to conform I refuse I refuse I refuse death I refuse failure I refuse poverty I refuse sickness I refuse defeat I refuse to limit God hallelujah 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 we are going to pray listen and you are going to confess and say Lord I take the limits that I've placed off you with my mindset hear me there are many of you God have told you you will be presidents of nations hold on you will be CEOs of companies God has told you you will build factories God has said you will build airlines there are many of you God told you you will have mega ministries God told you the next revival will come through your hands but you are limiting God you are limiting God in every area I like you to pray and say Lord I take off the limits go ahead do with me what only you can do produce a sign and a wonder my village notwithstanding my failures notwithstanding come on pray my challenges notwithstanding my family background notwithstanding make sure you are praying I take the limits hey yeah 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 God is able in me God is able I'm a champion I am victorious in the name of Jesus I am prosperous I enter my wealthy place I enter my place of blessings I enter my place of authority I flourish in ministry ENI is growing from grace to grace we cannot fail there is a hand upon us there is the grace of God that same hand that was there from the beginning that same hand is still alive fearful testimonies of healings miracles deliverances lives are being changed destiny is transformed many will come to know the Lord Jesus many will be filled with the Holy Ghost many will find their place in life hey, he will lead you to the place of destiny he will lead you I assure you he will lead you you will get there you may be slow but there is a hand upon your life do you not know there is a hand upon your life upon your life in spite of the death that happened in your house God is faithful your father may be dead your mother may be dead your brothers may be dead God is still faithful you may be eating just one meal in a day God is faithful God is faithful God is faithful your rent may expire God is faithful higher increase in life increase in ministry 
breakthrough my mind is productive my spirit is receptive i am a world changer i am a champion no limits no boundaries I believe the word but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded 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 firm immovable he reigns he reigns he is standing by my side to bring his word i don't know about you he reigns yes he reigns my god is an awesome god For the last time, hey, you raise, you raise, you raise, you raise, you are standing by my side. Bring his word to pass. can be sure the marriage is coming you will marry the children will come the increase will come yes you will know the Lord the anointing will come on you yes you will walk in the healing anointing yes you will walk in the prosperity anointing the lines are fallen for you in pleasant places you have a goodly heritage where you have been laughed at you become an eternal excellency a joy of many generations your part is as a shining light. It shines brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, for your shame, you receive double. In the name of Jesus, the hand of the Lord is upon your life. The oil of gladness is upon you. You are rising from one realm of glory to another. hallelujah hallelujah a victorious mindset the mindset of increase the mindset of grace the mindset of glory that you only see things in one direction God's direction no swaying Abraham wavered not do not be conformed do not be conformed the world will put pressure on you refuse to bend refuse it i choose the way of the lord i choose the word of god let god be true and every man every man be a liar be immovable be unshakable be firm be resolute that's the mind of a champion that's the mind of a world changer refuse to dwell on your challenges don't meditate on them there's glory ahead there's glory ahead there's glory your destiny is the land flowing with milk and honey where your life becomes a testimony where books will be written about your life Listen to me. Listen. A lot of believers do not know how to triumph in life. Hear me, friends. 
every time you ask God to take you to the throne you will turn and see a Goliath standing before you the size of your Goliath is how God sees you are you listening to me the size of the Goliath that stands before you for when you take on the head of Goliath then you will wear the crown of Saul otherwise you would dream about it you will fantasize about it and you will not get there there are many of you God is leading you to do things that nobody has ever done and you are afraid because it's a lonely road who told you there is no hand holding you who told you there is a mindset I want you to live here tonight with a mindset that you didn't just come to church and I don't want you to just rejoice and be happy and say wow nice uh -uh, uh -uh. when the business is more serious than that sweep over your room with a mindset write something on the wall that testify to your convictions I'm the head and not the tail many of you what you have on your room is that thing you remove when you when you wrap tissue paper a caro bonjour remove that thing and say I am the head you may be having probation or they may have withdrawn you from your department or, see let me tell you something what I don't care what you are in let your mind grow wild you are not the first and it has produced victorious people you are not an exception the difference between those who emerge champions and you is that they did what you are not yet doing are you listening to me so will you turn and call your many of you after this meeting or tomorrow you need to call your father and call your mother and tell them let me tell you something don't pack your bags about life yet there is a deliverer coming mm. there is a deliverer next time when you speak stop looking at your ability look at god's ability your ability in yourself is small many of us look at our abilities that's why we say uh -uh. if god tells me today that i'm going to plant a church in every city not country city of the world i believe him i count him faithful are you listening to me by this time tomorrow he said so in the land of samaria by this time and somebody limited god every time you limit god can you see from scripture that he got annoyed he got really annoyed by this time tomorrow and somebody say ah ah even if god will open hey, hey, don't ever let yourself snare your life with your words the bible says for with your words you are justified and by your words you are ensnared don't ever let that word is it possible ladies it is possible the principles of the kingdom obey god unto death when you see the principles of god many of you need to go and review many of your koinonia jottings you have notebooks full of jotting you never follow up you don't read it you are chasing after things that the solutions are in the word of god can i tell you something listen to me if many of us hear me we're rounding up if many of us would take half the time hear me half the time we spend discussing our issues discussing our family issues to dig into the word of god i tell you something you will come out with something that will make you fear but many of us don't dwell you don't believe that god's word is the key the solution we only believe it in theory but we don't believe it in reality anything god's word cannot do for you forget it it cannot be done are you listening to me everything your father lays his hands to do is not working and you are there laughing you are saying he's a wicked man you see what your words are producing and he's getting more wicked every day you are looking at your brother and you are saying he's a stingy idiot in lagos okay i used to cook for him and now your words the bible says let it not be said before an angel i made a mistake because angels execute it as you are saying in the book of numbers he said as i hear you say in my ears so shall i do what have you been saying what have you been saying 
many of you tell yourself i am nothing i am nobody i can't go anywhere us these jew girls we are not very fine see the fine ones and you are saying now nobody is talking to you what have you said about yourself i'm not saying you should be proud and arrogant and and look down on others but you must be confident are you listening to me this is the mindset is a victorious mindset it may look like a simple teaching tonight but i want you to know that if you do not have this mindset get set for shock because god is faithful other people were looking at goliath and saul and his mighty men were crying david looked at him and said if i kill this guy what will you give me can you imagine and they said we'll give you our wealth and, and you'll get my daughter he said you mean it say lord i've been praying about marriage thank you the answer has come he stopped praying he went and met goliath he said goliath you are too small to stop me from marrying and he won that thing and do you know as soon as he hit goliath he didn't ask for the wealth he said where's the lady Saul? give me and he carried her that was why when david was dancing she forgot she had now become a big girl she said why are you doing this he said, i'm dancing before god who took the throne from your father and gave it to me engage all the spiritual principles you know are you listening to me the weapons of praise don't tell me you have not had messages on it how many messages do you want to hear before you engage it lock yourself you play a song and you are dancing say lord i am dancing in advance for what you will do in my family you went and saw your result and people look at you and somebody is saying where are you sorry you Pele. you know i told you and you lock yourself somewhere and you are dancing and say lord one day i will build a, a, a theater for this department and i'll make the lecturer who is insulting me to be the one to cut the scissors to cut uh, the ribbon what do you believe about yourself even jesus christ looked at them he said before your father abraham i am he never apologized for that statement till he left to heaven i am the head and not the tail i am above and not beneath if there are two people who will be prosperous in nigeria is me and somebody i am sure of that this is not just confession it is a present day reality in my spirit i'll never fail in ministry never you know why because there is a hand the hands that lifted me will uphold me till the end i will not be afraid the hands that lifted us will uphold us till the end i will not be afraid there is a hand that gave you admission can that hand not bring you to march out of Contagora Square? There is a hand that lifted you. It will uphold you to the end. I prophesy to you. You will not be afraid. The Lord is your light. He's the light of your life. You should not be afraid every time you are afraid remember the hand that lifted you will uphold you to the end again you will not be afraid the hand that lifted you from lagos and brought you to zaria the hand that gave you the shop the hand that brought the first three people in your ministry the hand that brought the first sick body that you healed be confident in that hand sing it one more time the hand that lifted me will uphold me till the end i will not i will not be the hand that held your father the hand that lifted him will uphold him till the end Before your father was sent out of the bank they were screened and he got the job where is that hand can he not bring him again 
can that hand can that hand not bring you again the hand that prospered you in the small shop now you are afraid because god wants to increase you was it not the hand of god the hand that brought you in hundred level you are crying for project remember that course you thought you would get f then you saw c the hand that lifted you will not hold you to the end i will not be afraid see that's why when i preach the word of god i preach it with fire and i preach it with power hallelujah i'm not one of those user friendly preachers that try to just polish the word of god so you don't hurt the emotion ah. say josh if you don't stop shouting at me like that i will leave do you know how many people shouted in the bible go and read how many times jesus shouted when there is a point to stress the ways you you pin it down he said but i will go when you came for E and I, did you not meet people were you the first person there is a hand that lifted us it will uphold us to the end we will not Oh Lord, how will my life continue? I used to take scholarship. Now I'm rounding up. Ha ha. Do you not realize the hundreds of thousands that applied the scholarship? Now you got it. When the raven came and was feeding him, he forgot that a hand brought the raven. Now when the water dried, he began to doubt God. God said, are you doubting me? Come on. Come on. I am El Shaddai. There are many ways I can do the same thing. I'm not stranded of ideas. The hand that lifted us will uphold us to the end. We will not be Hallelujah. How will I graduate? Have you not heard that there are policies that have been changed in this school for only one session and was reversed back? Have you not had stories? Will I get admission? Have you not heard of people who got admission with 198? Josh, let's be let's let's be sensible. I refuse. That's what I just stopped you from doing. I refuse. I believe God's word. Call me a fanatic. You are not wrong. That's exactly what I am. I believe God's word meet me any day I believe God's word I believe God's word you don't come and talk the language of defeat around me no create a protocol around your life let nobody just jump into your life and speak every kind of thing you come and stay close to me and you speak a vulgar language I politely tell you uh -uh. there is a gate that stands between you and me I'm going somewhere are you listening to me Let's hold hands together as we round up. There is no one who is not unaware of what is happening in this country. Listen to me. Right now, people live in fear, uncertainties. Our hearts go for those whose families were lost and it is it's a very sad thing we truly truly sympathize if your family belongs to one of those families our heart goes out to you and we are really praying for you and standing by you but I want to tell you something listen it should not stop you from remaining steadfast in the word of God are you listening to me don't come to a point where you are ashamed. I know you are seeing many graduates running around looking for a job. You are already scared. Begging everybody, trying to find everybody. No, no. The world is getting wicked by the day. Someone was talking, I think it was Jake that was talking to me about a particular bank that was interviewing staff and the last series of tests they said they should have. I said, this is wickedness. This is wickedness. realize you can never be stranded in life he said about josh i'm stranded don't you understand our language in the kingdom 
we have the same spirit of faith we call the things into being that be not and it is this has been my testimony and i want it to be your own and that of your family that tomorrow you can stand before your congregation your own church your own children and tell them and say guys when we were young we were taught to hold on to the word of god and we did and today god has not failed david said since i was small now i am old i have never seen the righteous begging for bread how many righteous people are begging every day and the psalmist is talking as if he didn't see it say i've never seen the righteous beg didn't he go and beg for bread in the temple didn't he ask the priest to give him bread but he said since i was small now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread as a family of faith i bring you a word of prophecy the condition for you to fail in life is if the resurrection of jesus christ can be reversed you are going farther than you know you represent a nation i tell you something god told me i will raise and i will train choice souls he told me this years ago so every one of you standing here represents territories and systems some of you the aviation sector some of you the media some of you arts and entertainment like an infant of fire the lord is launching you and i tell you something refuse refuse to conform don't bend obey the lord keep tithing keep praying keep developing yourself keep reading the books keep building capacity bless those who persecute you speak good of every man manifest the character of the kingdom even in pain give glory never ask god why you'll not be strong that way and then see that the doors of greatness will be opened up to you and you will walk in it gallantly and you will lead nations into that door he said indeed shall all the families of the earth be blessed i believe in my life and i believe in your life and now that god is giving you an opportunity listen a day will come you may not have the opportunity to hear this word because you will now be the leader who will be speaking it to others so now that you have the opportunity to be ministered to my mindset you've changed my life you've revealed deep things to me i won't go back no pressure will make me go back go ahead and pray this song describes the heart of what god is doing in our midst transforming people how can you go back to the way you used to think to the way you used to perceive realities to your old ways of life i would go back not to those associations again not to those mindsets not to those strongholds hallelujah speak over your life in one minute prophesy call yourself what the word of god calls you lift your voice and pray i'm blessed my bow in the name of jesus i'm a city set on a hill cannot be hidden come on prophesy the light of the world the definition of darkness is the world without me I carry the anointing of the Holy Ghost I am that Savior who will come out of Zion and judge the Mount of Esau the blessed of the Lord blessed beyond the curse blessed beyond the limitations of man i'm full of the holy ghost i'm full of his wisdom full of his faith god is with me walking with me prophesy doing wonders through my life hallelujah i'm not ordinary the head and
and not the tail above and not beneath moving from glory to glory from faith to faith in the name of the Lord Jesus moving by the spirit of the living God I know no limitations the hand of God is upon my life make sure you are prophesying over your life I call myself the great I call myself the anointed I call myself the blessed of the Lord I call myself the prosperous of the Lord I call myself the wise of the Lord I'm walking in the path of righteousness the path of holiness I'm a miracle worker I'm a sign and a wonder the hand of God is strong and mighty upon my life I have a glorious destiny faith in my spirit to believe the word of God I see no limits in the name of Jesus full of the ability of the spirit more than a conqueror prophesy to yourself more than a conqueror through the power of the Holy Ghost more than a conqueror you are shaking your generation by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah faith proclamations are very powerful when they are done with revelation hallelujah it's important to speak for the Bible says the righteousness of faith speaks the Bible says we having the same spirit of faith as it is written I believe and so I declared I spoke we also believe like them and so we declare we're not making empty noises let me tell you something we're not just making empty noise we're speaking in the air we're speaking in the realm of the spirit we're making spiritual deposits the Bible says he that soweth in the spirit will of the spirit reap life eternal but he that sows in the flesh will of the flesh reap corruption hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord father we thank you for tonight once again an opportunity to be blessed we give you all the praise in the name of Jesus hug 10 people and sit down quickly God bless you make sure you hug people and laugh we laugh in this place and we smile pack up whatever you came with throw it outside God bless you. Thank you. Be seated. All right. Bring out your biros, books, and let's get to the word quickly. Hallelujah. Tonight I'm teaching on the subject strongholds of the mind. Powerful message. Hallelujah. You can call it the part two of one message we preached last year. Victorious mindset. That was in Blue Roof. Please make sure you are writing something. Or at least you can use a notepad on your phone or something. Write. He told John, after John had seen great things, he said, write. Because you will forget. He said, write. Even in heaven there's writing. Write. For these words are faithful and true. You are awesome in this place. You are awesome in this place. Thank you, Jesus. You are awesome in this place. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing it one more time. You are awesome. You are awesome in this place. This is our testimony. 
Lord, you're awesome. You are awesome. Yes, majestic, awesome. Changing lives. Transpinies. You are awesome in this Faithful God. you are doing SS changing to AA unbelievable miracles in the midst of your people we thank you for the works of Jesus in our midst Lord we thank you Lord we thank you just give me a minute or two let me just thank God I'm grateful. I'm grateful, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for your glorious presence. I hail you most high. You are my God. I hail you most high. I help you most high, you are my God. I help you most high. Sing it one more time. I hail you. I help you most high, you are my God. I help you most high. For you are bigger than what we you are bigger than 
tonight is worth it. Thank you. King of my life, you are my all, and I live for you alone. King of my life, you have my all, and I live for you king of my life you are my all and i live for you alone king of my life you have my all and i lay my life for you You're the king of my life. Hallelujah. Numbers, are you in numbers? Strongholds of the mind. Numbers 13. This was the story of the 12 spies. I'll be very brief and then we'll pray. Hallelujah. And the Lord spake unto the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, Okay, let's start from 13, 26. And they went and came to Moses and Aaron as the spies now and to all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran and Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land and they told him and said we came unto the land to which thou sentest us and surely it flowed with milk and honey and this is the fruit of it Nevertheless, the people 
are strong that dwell in the land and the cities are walled and very great and moreover we saw the children of Anak there the Amalekites dwell in the land of the Negev and the Hittites and the Jebusites and Amorites dwell in the mountains and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the edge of Jordan and Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said let us go up at once and possess it for we are well able to overcome it 31 but the men that went up with him said we are not able to go up against the people for they are stronger than we hallelujah bless your word tonight strengthen us in the name of jesus now mindsets i want to talk a little about mindsets right please mindsets mindsets a mindset is a value system an ideology hallelujah my good friend come and shake me forget about the people come and give me a big hug if you like hug me self i missed you this way jerry thank you i love her. i appreciate her Many of you, if I say you should come out, you how are you? I missed you, Jared. Give me five. Yes, I go back to the seat. God bless you. A mindset is an ideology, your value system, your plane of perception. The platform from which you judge and interpret things it's called a mindset there are some scriptures that i read in the bible that really made me afraid over the years one of them is for as a man thinketh in his heart so is he how can god equate a man's life with the content in, in his heart he said for as a man thinketh in his heart and then another scripture says guard your heart have you ever come across that scripture it says guard your heart with all diligence be meticulous about it he said for out of it hallelujah new living translation says for with it you will chart the course of your destiny guard your heart with all diligence hallelujah it's always an honor for me to talk not just with different people but young people because what God is about to do in the nations is very prophetic and we are his battle acts we are the tools that God will be using to accomplish all that he will be doing hallelujah but then there is a big mountain that we need to conquer in Africa in Nigeria in Zaria and only God knows where else hallelujah I took out time to study the history of Nigeria and a bit about Africa I'm not a historian and I got to find out that as a result of the colonial rule hallelujah a spirit and a mindset was put upon the black race are you listening to me and that mindset is a curse a mindset that teaches men that all about your life is servitude are you listening to me when although nigerians gained their independence they were not free until today we are still not free and if we must rise up listen to me to that prophetic destiny that god has designed for us then we must come out of certain mindsets. Tonight's message will wrestle a lot of mindsets and kick them out of your life. Hallelujah. I began to find out in my life that a man can never rise above and beyond his mindset. I know many of you have heard it, but write it. You can never rise beyond your mindset, your plane of perception. Did you know the limitation in Africa today is not the natural resources in this country or in this continent? 
Africa is the richest continent in the whole world. Hallelujah. Nigeria is a very prophetic nation. Yet, there's still death, corruption, poverty, mindsets. Hallelujah. And this mindset has eaten into the educational system of this country. Hallelujah. Such that when someone writes jam, as soon as they give him admission, the next thing he's eyeing one position, just eyeing one office. Oh Lord, let me be a clerk. Let me be a secretary. No productivity, no advancement, no thinking out of the box. We have become managers of the realm that we found ourselves. No breaking status quo to do anything. Hallelujah. Some of you, your parents have told you, just follow it. Don't try to do anything new. Hallelujah. The Bible lets us know that 12 spies were sent to go and look at the land of Canaan. And the Bible says they all came back happy. They gave Moses and Aaron the report. They said it was wonderful. I mean, the land is truly flowing with milk and honey. Hallelujah. And then 10 of them says, but nevertheless, in other words, taste the fruit. Delicious, really nice. However, we saw certain kinds of people that are half humans and half something else. Six fingers, six toes. Terrible people. To the extent that our mind interpreted us as grasshoppers before them. Hallelujah. Said the Jebusites, the Hittites, the Anakites dwelt in that land. And while they were speaking, a man called Caleb was just listening. And he allowed them to finish speaking nonsense. And then he says, well, this is my own report. Let us go up at once. In other words, look, we are more than ready. He said we can take these people. Forget about their height. There are two animals that Jesus associates himself with in the Bible. Number one is the lion. Number two is the eagle. And this bird and this animal, they are the king of their kingdoms. Hallelujah. And this is not because, for instance, the lion. The lion is not the strongest. The lion is not the wisest. Hallelujah. The lion is not the biggest. But there is an attitude. There is a mindset. The lion has a resolve and a determination. And he made him to become the king of the jungle. Follow me tonight. The eagle is such a robust creature. Such a robust bird that history tells us that the eagle does not fly. It doesn't flap its wings. It soars. It will rise to a high altitude and stand. And for a long time, try to gauge the current of the wind. Why other birds are just flying and hoping that the wind goes their direction. The eagle will stand. Such powerful vision that from a high mountain top, the eagle can look at a lamb and come with accuracy and precision and pick it up hallelujah strong animal many qualities about these creatures for instance the lion will never eat any meat it did not kill if you give it dead meat no it will kill by itself understands the power of conquest and honor and jesus calls himself the lion of those many animals in Judah is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. And the eagle. To the extent that God loves these creatures that he designed creatures after this likeness and put them before his throne. The lion, the calf, the face of a man and the face of the flying eagle. The first thing I want to let you know is that mindsets are a sum total of number one, your environment. Your environment, right? Your mindset is a sum total of your environment. Number two, your experiences. 
your environment cultures your mindset those of us outside are we following say amen hallelujah your environment your experiences number three your cultural background cultural background cultural background number four your level of orientation and exposure hallelujah praise God these are mind builders so look up every one of us when we get born again we come into Christ with heterogeneous mindsets that are a derivative of many factors are you listening to me I've always given this an exam as an example someone who grew up in Portacot or Wari or Lagos has a different mindset and an ideology from someone who grew up in Zaria. Is that correct? In Zaria here, a bus can stop and reverse just because of one person and can delay and wait. But down south, there's no time for that. You have to find a way of maneuvering yourself to jump out if you're interested in highlighting at that point. Because the people are serious and they are ready to move forward. There are certain mindsets. Hallelujah. In the north, for instance, I mean, you don't need to bow down or bend or do anything. Just maintain some level of courtesy and speak softly and you greet someone and that's okay. But in the south, you, that's not enough. Hallelujah. No matter how tall you are, you must bend down and greet. These are mindsets. Now, and it so happened that a majority of the factors that shape our mindsets did not come from the word of God. Hallelujah. Please follow me. This is very important. And so, as many as our heads are, just imagine that there are no bodies in this auditorium. Plenty heads. A summation of various mindsets. Hallelujah. Hallelujah various mindsets you have arrived at certain conclusions about life based on certain things hallelujah praise the lord when you come into christ and you get born again immediately the holy ghost begins his work of transformation and that transformation is not just changing you as it were physically but he begins to work on your mindset. He begins to scrutinize and edit your mindset thoroughly. And let me tell you something. This does not happen overnight. Are you listening to me? Because you have come to gain security and confidence over certain mindsets. For instance, there are certain people who never believe that they can make it in life on their own. There must be an external help somewhere. I don't mean godly help. You get what I'm saying. They can never there are students that even if you give them the exam question before the exam they will still fail the only thing is that let me copy it and answer it in a sheet and then enter with it mindset that's how they 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 went from primary one to js1 during waek that was what happened that's how they wrote jam it has become a mindset so when you say you are victorious, you say, of course, with my paper on my hand and my ability to be crafty and corny, I know I will make it in this life. Hallelujah. There are other people who believe that the way to treat people is an eye for an eye, tooth for tooth. What else for what again? Leg for leg, anything. Do me as I do you. Don't say that other part because it's very ungodly. Hallelujah. And so we have all kinds of, we, we have guys who come from cultures where a lady cannot talk looking at the guy in the eye. Correct? She will bow down or do whatever. Now you come into a new environment and you carry your village with you. And you are moving everywhere hoping that everyone is that atmosphere. mindsets 
so now you are in a class for instance or you are in koinonia like this and they say give your neighbor a high five and you are wondering there are contemplations in your heart what kind of disrespectful environment is this mindset let me tell you as you see people move they are carrying several things with them they may be quiet you may put with one on it you may bab it only their mindsets mindsets there are certain people who have never seen a miracle in their life never seen one and so the day they see anything i watch the faces of people during miracle service and i see the shock that happens when you lift your hands and someone falls by your side you're just mindsets every time the word of god comes you know what it does it's like an arrow and it hits different mindsets so mindsets say lie lie i don't agree it begins to challenge your mindset and it's like a wall strongholds listen demons take advantage of these mindsets and they access certain lives there are many families today who believe that they believe in what i call traditional christianity you, you get my point we love god we'll go to church on sunday however we won't go and visit the man but there are certain things we can take along with us when the going gets tough it's the tough that gets going and so we use that mantle where is the god of our herbalist and you use it to part the red sea and so there are mindsets mindsets there are many fathers today for instance the day the wife calls him darling he looks and says ah what is my wife watching that's supposed to be a lovely compliment but the man will be offended for maybe months i said what kind of disrespect is this hallelujah or a small child just say mommy i need to tell you something say you didn't add my mindsets there are guys who will never greet a lady for instance and say you must be the one to greet me that's how it is in our village so they are carrying it again atmosphere mindset although you are born again now follow me you are born again you are filled with the holy ghost but you carry it with you and when god wants to step in and do something in your life those mindsets stand as strongholds are you listening to me and so god must break those mindsets and they give way there are some of you who never believe that you can help anybody there's one very dangerous house statement don't ever find yourself confessing that statement it's a curse on yourself hallelujah there are people who believe listen to me there are people who believe that they can never be blessed to be a blessing to others hallelujah there are other people who believe i'm telling you maybe some of you are even here there are some people who believe god can never hear them directly they say pray for us you think they are joking but they mean it i want to ask you a question tonight what mindset did you come here with tonight because god is about to work on certain mindsets dangerous and terrible mindsets there are people who believe for instance you can get born again get into a relationship sleep around so long as you are going to marry the lady guaranteed it's a mindset so when the word of god is coming about purity and holiness that mindset say forget it who is not doing it there are mindsets that believe that if you want honor be a pastor correct and sadly there are many ministries that's what they call spiritual development so the day you get born again your ambition your goal your plan is to come to a point where you become a pastor so all the brothers want to be pastors and if you are not a pastor you are a failure based on the mindset that has been created so everybody is moving around i'm a pastor i'm this i'm that there are certain people listen who because of the challenges that they went through they you drank gary using your hand eh you mix the sugar with your hand and drank it so that anger is still in you 
and you are looking for the people to vent that anger on so the day they make you a leader you try to make sure you prove to everybody you are not as naive as before again why did you bring fork for me to eat this food why did you do this as if you were not using your hands before mindsets and we are you getting blessed tonight and we use these things to define our behavior with other people there are other people who believe that once you are simple with certain people they disrespect you so the moment they see anybody they square up their shoulder say please bring me my blackberry say no the other one i mean the bold bold what not the other one or let me even use the galaxy tab i think that one will be faster what is who cares now you think the people are being impressed and someone else with his mindset is being surprised he's saying you mean this is the definition of fulfillment in this man's world hallelujah so the guy is coming close to a lady and he's flipping his phone and in his world he has people like him he has found them around so they have become groups their mindsets so who is wearing which watch who is wearing this and that's all his pursuit that's what drives him you are sitting at the back but you believe based on your mindset that everybody is seeing you mindset can be terrible let me tell you mindsets hallelujah there are guys that come with mindsets they believe no lady can tell me no i ask any lady i want at any time i don't hear no i am this i am chief this i am chief that devilish satanic strongholds of the mind are you following me now there are mindsets there are certain people who have been taught money doesn't grow on trees all these tags they are deceiving you all these giving you better keep your money They can have one million naira. You, you have ten thousand. If you give them hundred naira, they'll collect and add it. Mindsets. And there are all kinds of books to help and massage that mindset and keep you in it. Hallelujah. Do you realize that every one of us in this place, including myself, have mindsets that have built up themselves as strongholds are you listening to me and except these mindsets are conquered some of us will never rise beyond our present level hallelujah there are certain people they go to school they do everything but their mindset still takes them i was listening to one man he said he's gone abroad he did this but he likes his local dish it's his best food i say it's a lie it's a lie you went abroad what did you eat where did you go abroad is it's like say i studied science where did you go which restaurant he said he came back and he found out that all those things are junk not everything is junk oh, let me tell you the truth just tell us based on your level of financial resources and the exposure that was available at that time you went to a place that did not create the best of pictures but don't because there are certain people living in a higher realm of life and you see the thing about mindsets is this listen there are two factors or forces that can help you get out of mindsets number one the word of god or number two premature exposure the danger is that if it's not the word of god that begins to reorient your mind you're going to become a disaster because when you suddenly realize let me give you an example someone who always just enters express express just stop he carries you to wherever you are going and then one day someone gives you a lift you've always known you are fine it's just that you didn't know the accent and then someone just stopped you in his bmw x5 i've been talking about that car hallelujah for me or you you are a student here, you better read your book. You have exams next week. Hallelujah. Now you enter the car. Ah! Suddenly you begin to find out that you mean there is a higher realm of life than what I have known. Hallelujah. You sit down, the seat adjusts itself on you. How? 
your mind something is happening at that point when you drop from that car what happens it leaves you with a memory the memory displaces something in your car your roommate that used to say hi you now say ah don't things are changing orientation are you listening to me or they now make you a leader whether a leader of your fellowship or something and suddenly for the first time they held your bible you've never known how it feels you've only imagined it ah! and you wanted to behave yourself but later on you couldn't hide it you laughed and you smiled and then everybody wants to leave the old for new if you taste of the new and it's better you will dump the old quickly when i was in port Harcourt, there was a preacher the church i attended there fulfilling world ministries and the man of god traveled abroad to uk for the first time they gave him three thousand pounds as honorarium when he came back pastor he said i saw a level of life that is better than the way you wicked members in this church have been subject no really and he in anger he said so i am this valuable and you people have been playing with me you go and see the way other people have you seen people like that say from today from today and call for certain partners that will be sowing into his life every week to the end of that year it was as, and they did something wrong in the church and he left he was going the members had to run and bring him i sat down there and i said you see you see why god doesn't answer some prayers you see why god doesn't answer oh god take me even if it's ghana take me out of this country and god says the way you are if your leg matches the international airport you you will come back you will not hear god again or anybody there are people like that too. they give you five thousand naira home and abroad that's all you have you just have to depend on god and use it well one day you went to your friend's house and the father gave you hundred thousand ah! you did everything you did in your small world and there was still change you didn't even know what to do with it again from that time the day you see your father counting five thousand you are just tapping your hand and say if you won't give me i know how to get it now i'm smart this is what leads people into prostitution they tested something that looked better than the old life but it was not a derivative of the word of god and so there's that craving if i can just sleep with this orgasa and two hundred thousand is my own it's not like it's for us to share my own who will know And they start before you know it they are changing mindsets and so our goal in this place because there are many of you the way you are receiving the word of god your mindsets are saying no it's just your head that is saying yes when you are saying yeah yeah your mind is saying you are joking i'm not giving way i will preserve this mindset there are some of you who will see someone maybe your friend going to go and sleep with one man traveling even during this exam now going to go and collect the money for exam and you say well the way i am you know it's not good to disturb people who told you this this issue of it's not good they used to say this should not be done start scrutinizing the foundation of your mindset where did it come from hallelujah are you listening to me see those mindsets responding in anger i'm seeing all of them the mindsets just coming from east west north middle belt all of them just rising we will crumble them tonight in the name of jesus because the bible says psalm 78 from verse 10 down to 17 and when you read further the bible says that the nation of israel haven't gone through 430 years of captivity the children were born in slavery born in servitude hallelujah the bible says when they went to the wilderness they limited god by saying can god make a way in the wilderness do you know there are some of our parents today who do not ever believe that they can buy a new car i mean brand new i'm not talking of belgium brand new that you are the one who removes the rubber when you say that they just laugh 
this stupid boy you are still young grow up and you understand what is all that and there are many of us from the time you were earning 5,000 now God has helped you you are earning 250,000 to buy a new shirt the day you buy it you will cry because it looks like you lost a baby mindsets you are in the boutique you are just frowning you come back what happened I bought a new shirt this is something that is supposed to be a blessing but that mindset of suffering you are used to it to the extent that when God wants to give you a new opportunity say no God is okay I, I need to you go to a restaurant you, 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 someone is paying the bill you are already embarrassing yourself how much is everything what is your business Still the person took you these are mindsets that disgrace us in public places you are well dressed you kept quiet nobody knew when they said sir you just say how are you the one paying for it or some of you because you have never been there when you get there you will do crazy things they say okay pick this hey let me take it now because i don't know where give me this uh, puff puff ice cream give me this this cake is it for birthday or just normal days bring it You reveal your mindset when opportunities give room. That's why many people limit themselves. Some people go for a job interview. As soon as you enter, you don't greet anybody. You just go to the seat and sit down. You say, I got first class. They just tell you, get up and walk out of this place. They will never give you that job. Doesn't matter who prayed for you bad manners you just step in and enter and just sit down and you're looking at everybody say how are you you say hi <laughs> hi you are looking for a job you think that's how the people got that job they ask you a question see let me tell you if the, God will help us this night oh, say amen, amen. You entered the job this in you saw that it was your uncle they say ah uncle yeah can have you they are doing an interview for you mindsets mindsets see this is why some people never step into some levels of grace and lifting and power they never become leaders they remain servants forever that's the mindset in Africa. You see Nigerians on CNN or BBC and see what many of them do. Hallelujah. We spend money and pay their flight. They take from the national treasury. And you, when it's time for them to speak, look at the ambassadors of many countries articulating themselves very well. When it gets to the point of Nigerians, they take personal issues that is not the business of the world and start venting. Listen to them on radio everywhere mindsets preachers mindsets they name their sermons after their annoyance i am coming back this time around for you what is that you just know that he's fighting with someone it's not the oil but the hand that holds the oil that matters let me tell you something a mindset can limit you you can never rise above and beyond the level of your mindset make sure as you are laughing you are taking it seriously hallelujah when God began to open my mind about my mindset I found out that if I don't change my mindset my life will never change and I began a radical project to change my mind because as innocent and loving as my parents were, some of their mindsets were not consistent with God's word. Are you listening to me? And I knew that I have to change it. There are many of you who are waiting right now for your father or mother to die. You have been eyeing the house. You see people fighting. They are fighting over their grandfather's land. They should be ashamed of themselves. They say when he left it, was this not where he put the mark? From that time till now, you've not been productive to rise up and do everything. You are even gathering your children. 
and say when you see uncle so 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 hate him for the rest of your life because that land is our own what did i say the children is our own they stand up with that mindset they go around to school say it's our land You see why I sang that song? What's the song again? I can go back to the way. What is the it? What is the it? The mindset. It used to be terrible. So you are, you are making a vow that I won't go back. I've seen a higher light. I've seen a better life. That you can be prosperous and make heaven. That you can be a millionaire and make heaven. That you can walk in the dignity of kingdom integrity and still be prosperous. That you can shake your generation and bless people. That from that you can write the books that are in your heart. I study a lot about great people. Have a lot of their documentaries. Hallelujah. And I'm touched at how they spoke to themselves talk about the man nelson mandela great man had a dream in his heart and he said he was going to change the course of south africa and 20 years in prison did not stop him right now even on their currencies his face that is there almost every note i think every note now many people clap and we use him as a case study he changed his mindset. Jesus was born in Nazareth. And the Bible says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus said, no. My vision is beyond this place. I refuse to be confined. Do you know that many of you seated here, if you will tap one third of the grace that God has put in your life, your generation will not recover from what you have. But you've been hearing all kinds of voices that have been speaking to you. Every time you look at Oprah Winfrey, you just imagine yourself but now with the perspective of the kingdom and your mindset just punishes you and said you better hibernate i think you need some rest you think people just grow and become tv hosts hallelujah do you know how bad a mindset is a mindset can be so bad to the extent that if someone comments you you can think is the person is intimidating you or the person is insulting you they just say ah you speak very well though. you go back and ask 10 people and say if somebody is angry with you how should the person respond mindsets many of us have had different mindsets when our parents are angry they have names they call us stupid boy say sir so you have grown with that mindset and now every time you want to move forward that thing replaced. See, you can change the future, but you cannot change history. The mind has a memory bank. It keeps records of all the days when you could not do certain things. And when God begins to speak to you and say, look, I can take you to a higher place. Do you believe it? One of the greatest gifts a man can have is self-confidence. I don't mean arrogance. Self-confidence. Some of you have refused to learn how to drive till today till tomorrow not because a car is not available you believe the day you get in the road you are going to kill somebody and yet you see these these Alsa boys small boy of nine years ten years you know when they park the car in pz the masters will be resting the boys are so confident they don't ever imagine accident that's how they learn no no driver's license no nothing confidence many of you lose confidence you have a presentation you you are the best student you have the best work but you are fidgeting come and lead prayer you who prays very well now you are praying and oh father in the name of jesus you find yourself saying things you shouldn't say you didn't even know you have ended the prayer because of pressure all kinds of things but when the holy spirit begins to work on you listen to me the first thing is he exposes the flaw in your mindset. The greatest deceit that can happen to any man in the earth is to believe your mindset is okay the way it is. Every time 
I interact with God's word, I look at myself. Sometimes I just look at myself at the mirror. I say, Joshua, change for God's sake. And then I slap my head and I laugh back again. But I'm just, these are just efforts to say you need change. I read some of them, his book, Multiply Your Success, Lead, powerful leadership book. There are many of you that what you are seeing, he and I, and all of these things. God is already, every time you sit here, God is telling you, do 10 times more than what you are seeing. You say, God, me? When will you stop that mindset of inferiority and complex? Are you listening to me? That mindset of unworthiness and false humility and embrace what God has said about you. There are ladies in this place. You believe that if you get married, it's a miracle. In fact, the wedding should be called Thanksgiving, not, not wedding solemnization. You just have some nasty, negative things about yourself. See, other ladies, their hands are soft and tush, but our hands, the testimony of hard work. Mindsets. Mindsets. Hallelujah. Mindsets. There are some of us, the first day they give you fork and spoon and knife, you sit down and be laughing at yourself for a long time. It's not like you cannot use it. Is it excitement or pressure? You are just, you don't even know what to do. Say, I deserve a good life. Say it. Africa. This is the gift Africa gave us. We grew up and met mindsets that will never tell us we can arise. Never. The day you took first, you went to your father and said, Daddy, I took first. He said, eh, what did you work for? What did I pay your school fees for? Give me a chance, Jare, as the mechanic come. And you are wondering. You are saying somebody who took 10th position, they caught chicken for the person, your neighbor. And you took first. And they trivialize it. And you say, okay. According to my mindset, first is the same as 14th position. The next, next time, you get 20th position. And your father says, I always knew. You say it doesn't make any difference. Some of us grew up with that mindset. And so excellence lives your life permanently. You don't value it. You don't respect it. Get up and throw clothes on your, on your bed and leave it there. Say, sure, I'm going to marry one day. Mindsets. So, two couples get married. Are you, let me use somebody. Come, my dear. Are you ready to accept this lady as your lovely way? You didn't even listen. You just know that. Yes. You uncle, yes. Two of you go to the house. Clash of heterogeneous mindsets. Coming from several places. In our world, my father treats me like a queen. The other guy in their world, I'm the king. Clash of values. When I'm pregnant, will you cook for me? Am I crazy? Will I cook for you? Men don't go to our kitchen in our, in our culture. Mindsets. You see why it's good to stay with the word of God? He said, do not be conformed to this age, but be what? Transform. What does a transformer do? Say it. What does a transformer do? Changes things. God bless you, my dear mindsets because the way many of us are going our mindset will lead to a fatal accident in life you are praying in tongues you are moving but your mindset is taking you back your mindset is taking to the extent do you know that well you can ask Jake's and bishop by god's grace we have prayed for thousands of people in tongues and have found out that 90 percent of people who have challenges receiving the baptism of the holy spirit at that spot are people who were challenged with their mindsets when they begin to speak they turn aside and they're looking they feel like i'm such a villager i cannot even articulate myself now you are saying i should be filled with the holy spirit did i really receive it or the one i received came from somewhere they say turn to your neighbor and tell your neighbor you have a great destiny immediately you turn you just see your village you don't see another neighbor and you remember what about the farm what about the tractor there? What about this? And God is telling you, you will rise from that level. Some of us, where we come from, 
Maybe it's even a hut that you are staying. A real hut. So what? Say after me, so what? So you get angry. Your dad is a carpenter. You just see one guy pass, you say, that's my, my father's younger brother. All these people, they tell them, work hard, they will work hard. Have you seen people like that? Denying their father and mother. Their mother sells Akara. And they come, they say, who is that? They say, well, they say mommy, mommy. They mention one name. They say, it's just the name we call her. That's the express revelation of complex. You need a retreat quick. Quick! Whatever you are doing, stop and go for a retreat. We are not proud of ourselves. See, this is what makes a lot of guys. They come to meet a lady and they come and they are telling her stories. Say to sin. Um, my father just dropped one G. Who asked you? Who asked you? See, and the other day, self, I was even wondering, uh, you care for anything? He doesn't have money. Pressure. Pressure. He begged for someone's phone and told the guy to call him when he's with this lady. See, I deliver you from that mindset in this place in Jesus' name. There are many ladies who cannot go and see their boyfriend or whatever. They say, please give me this phone. Please give me your shoe. Please Work with what you have. Covetousness, a product of mindset. You can't see anything good and leave it quietly. Hallelujah. Mindsets. Do not be conformed to this age. There are many of us who have adopted wrong mindsets of success right now. You're already imagining. If I become like Pastor Jakes, my own Zue Rao not sit at the back. She'll be standing, holding the water. When I want to drink, I'll just shift my mouth like this and she'll put. That's your mindset. And as crazy as what I'm saying is, there are people today who are doing it. They do it with honor and dignity. There are pastors today that if their members see them anywhere, they will kneel down and have to greet them. And then he stands. You are embarrassing yourself because that's a mind. By the time you rise to a higher level, you see. You want to write a book. You say you want it to be a bestseller. You go and meet somebody in community market and say, can you produce this book for me? Is it going to be a bestseller that way? You are used to photocopying handouts, small books. God is saying, write something that will take nations. Are you getting blessed tonight? We are going to pray. See, the point of my message tonight is to reveal to you that your mindset has been keeping you where you are. As a ministry, we are where we are today because of our mindset. If we rise higher, we will move higher. Hallelujah. You see a lot of people, 10 years, 20 years, 5 members, 10 members, they keep giving all kinds of flimsy excuses. Good preachers, but bad leaders. They won't read about leadership. They won't read about all of these things. They won't increase. They won't go anywhere. You will remain at the level you are until light comes to pick you out of there. He said, arise and shine. Why? For your light. New knowledge. I promise you, you will remain at any level you are in life until light. If you are ready to disengage your former mindset and pick up something new, you can rise on that level. Hallelujah. God is telling you, you can be a TV host. And you sit and say, I can't speak English. How many months does it take to learn sound English? I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence. The way you grew up, you cannot remain like that. I won't go back. I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence. Every time I look at myself, I see a great leader. I see a visionary leader. I have such a healthy perspective of my life. I admire people. 
but not enough to intimidate myself because I have stayed long enough in the secret place to know the things that he has put in me and I know they will open any door many of you are trying to be like people who will one day admire you in the future did you know that I, I, I wanted to be like many people who want to be like me today because I did not know what I carried and so we have all kinds of models on TV Rihanna who again and you look at them and you smile you imagine yourself in their place wrong models and you begin to follow their own path and you end up in destruction I told myself I will not die the way I was born I was born quietly only my mother and a few visitors I wouldn't die that way Jesus was born in a manger when he was going back to heaven there was a crowd celebrating him let me tell you something you can choose to rise beyond your level there are many of us ABU has limited you carryover has limited you your class of degree has limited you you think you may never rise beyond that level You must believe in yourself. Listen to me. I'm speaking to you right now. You must believe in yourself. Believe that you can become anything. The only limitation in my life is the voice of the Holy Spirit. As far as I'm concerned, there is nothing I cannot become. Nothing. 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 I remember when we were going to have our crusade in 2006. We are organizing it. You are going to a local government young just smiling all we had was faith but we knew we we're going to do it they limited god many of you have limited god every time you look at the frustration of your family members god tells you you are the savior you will arise but every time god speaks it another voice another voice starts speaking to you and many of us have yielded to those voices Oh, I believe in myself. I have a great life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The best that God has for me is my heritage in Christ. I believe I will write books that will shake this generation. Yeah. I believe it. Listen. We said this thing, sir. Right from those days, we'll pray and say we know it. That God will do. That's why I tell some of you, make faith proclamations. Whenever you say I'm great, you just look. You say I even trekked from campus to come. So what? So what? There is nothing you are going through today that somebody did not go through and conquered it. Some of you have not eaten anything. You came for koinonia hungry. It's not because restaurants closed today. It's because you didn't have money let me tell you something that is not enough to give you a mindset that you're a failure every time you go to your mother or your father they call you and say my son my daughter it's not like i don't love you you know if i had more i would have given if i were you i would go back and say lord take me out of this mindset fill me with the holy spirit make me a world changer and let my parents have a foretaste the man called pan and Pasi paul was living in my auntie's boys quarters used to stay in my auntie's boys quarters when he started his kind of music they kicked him out of many churches in Joss. but today when you enter his office you see awards that you cannot imagine hallelujah so the first point tonight is refuse to remain where you are this is why we teach the things we are teaching you must know that you are a leader you won't be a follower forever say i will not be a follower forever say it you cannot remain a follower forever you cannot remain in a rented house forever you grew up there you saw them humiliating your father and your mother you are not doing anything about it. God is speaking to you tonight. He said, I'm a lady. 
but nobody has come to marry me that's a mindset that needs to leave you because you believe that your life is tied around a man hallelujah there are many guys here you are just waiting to graduate some of you got your service this day today you are happy not because they give awards in service place but because of how much is the alawi 18.5 and you are smiling in your world that's prosperity say i never had it that good leave me let me enjoy it your lecturer looks at you and says i brought your test and i look you are a dull student i've always known pretty lady dull head and you carry that mindset you define yourself I refuse any report that is not the word of God whatever my father did not have I will give it to them whatever my mother did not have I will give it to them I told my mother this I told her you relax since I'm already alive I'm walking you just get ready to smile every day of your life the remaining part of your life will be years of laughter John the Baptist was called a son of consolation many of you the way you are going you see someone 35 years your parents are still helping you 35 years you are 35 years no pressure will you marry i'll think about it what are you doing in your life that lad nobody should leave me alone i'm not a small child and every time they put small food say i'm not a small child so you know back out out of your father's house no sense of responsibility you are not paying any bills you are not doing anything the little money you get you go and play football you come back in the evening throw your boots everywhere what kind of life is this and you went to school you read you graduated but your mindset has betrayed you and everything people just say so somebody in your village calm down before you finish calling the names of innocent people in your village find out how see there are many ministries claiming blessings oh we are working in millions ask them do you have an account do you have an account they say no whose account will you use say well uh, when it comes we will be able to arrange ourselves let me tell you something it will end in those loud noise in the mic you are not pre the bible says go and borrow vessels if you truly believe that new oil is coming borrow vessels it didn't say borrow oil it said borrow vessels hallelujah three ways to transform your mind right quickly number one ah, the lord is challenging people tonight right number one generally speaking all right this is just generally speaking you need a new orientation whenever you find out that you have a faulty mindset the bible says you cannot put new wine in what an old wine skin you need both a new wine and a new wine skin you want to transform your mind number one realize that your present mindset is not its best realize it come to terms with it i don't care if your father is a billionaire it's your father's money it's not your money i don't care if you're a five pointer or you're a one pointer i don't care if you are working in a bank or you are working in an oil company listen to me there is more in your life you cannot remain this way i've always known that there's more in my life some of you are here and all that is in your world is you are local champions here in zaria the best student in your class and you think that's how the world will treat you everywhere you step out and find out a rude shock when i was in secondary school we used to win every debate we go to we didn't know that it was just that our standard was low i was saying we are very smart people one day we tried one school i won't mention the name ah we tried one school what they did for us that day I was one of the speakers. We embarrassed ourselves that day. We 
hated our school that day. Hated the principal and everybody. I just looked at them. I wished I wasn't in that school. Because we're local champions in our little local government where we were. Hallelujah. The first day I tried jam mathematics. After five hours, I got four. Only four. I said, this is serious. Serious. I was the best student in my class. I said, this is serious. A mindset kept me believing that I'm a superstar. Now, jam brought their question. I didn't do for damas so i knew that this is not child's play immediately i recognized the need hallelujah i started organizing lessons for my classmates a rescue mission quick because i told them look let me tell you we we'll write waek and be shot because of that i started challenging myself I tried GC. I did very well. And when I looked, I said, there's got to be more. There's got to be more. I was a laboratory prefect. I won't go out. Oh. I locked myself in the lab there. Because I didn't know more. So I thought all that there was was intellect. But I sat down there. The other best student. In my school then, the smartest student got lab and library, not head boy. Head boy was for talkatives. If you were smart and they wanted it to have a good result, you become the library prefect or the lab prefect so that you can sit there in one place. I made up my mind not to be small. I started reading further maths on my own. 60% of my chemistry I learned it by myself. See, I didn't do the kind of your school. In our own school, we was building the school as students. When you misbehave, you just go and change. Oh yeah! Change and go and serve job. Some of you were, you were to schools where you already laptop. Did we ever have a laptop? We had to borrow Whitstone Bridge for work. Yet I, I told myself, I said this will not define my life. I'm going far. Are you listening to me? Many of you have kept yourself in positions giving flimsy excuses. I told myself one day my world will celebrate me. Number one, go for knowledge. Buy the truth. Please write. Buy the truth. Read books that will mold your character. Read books that will teach you leadership. Read books on fatherhood read books on ministry this is why we are putting together a school of ministry the school of ministry is not for pastors the school of ministry is to raise ambassadors in all spheres hallelujah raise ambassadors go for knowledge look at me many of you have some of you apart from your grammar english grammar that you read you've never sat down to read any book and finish it you look at a book five thousand naira is over my dead body five thousand abba what will five thousand do i can buy beans i can buy one tier of 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 gary and mix all this in. that's why it's only <laughs> my mother says only your stomach that will be coming out your destiny will remain where it is because that's the only thing you are feeding. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Some of you, God has told you you'll be a leader over many. What books have you read about leadership? You don't know anything about leadership. So you are doing traditional leadership in your faculty. Because that's all you know. That's what you saw the king, <laughs> the king of your village do. Now you have become a president. And you are, you just imagine... The members of the cabinet those people that are carry koboko and follow king and you begin to treat people because that's what you know when life puts pressure on you you reveal your mindset many of you lack character you lack communication skills you wake up in the morning you cannot greet your roommate 
to say good morning say am i a child they gave birth to me 5th of october 1975 you they gave birth to you 6th of october am i not older you see mindset mindset you eat food and ask the person carry the plate mindset what when, we, when has it given anybody food and you are bold to say it when people come and say this is my younger brother must you tell us are we blind forget the fact that he's bigger than me he's my young calm down mindsets you'll never be a leader with this mindset you may be a good tongue talker you may be a good miracle worker but you cannot take your world this way because the world you are going to take are not born again it takes more than just praying in tongues to take your world. Are you listening to me? There must be a level. I was reading an article by Jimo Ibrahim. He just celebrated his 46th birthday and I was so touched. I was just reading about his history, Jimo Ibrahim. Some of you don't even know who is Who is Jimo Ibrahim? You are in Nigeria here. The only thing you know is, is what's, which is the latest soup opera now. They don't do it again. Paloma, second chance. That's all you know. That's why you are behaving like what you have been watching. But tonight I'm challenging you. Say after me, I go for knowledge. Because see, when you begin to, the Bible says, look for. It says, Jesus took the book and he saw where it was written by prophet Isaiah's. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He found in the volume of the books where it was written. You can find your destiny when you go for knowledge. The first book I began to read when I made up my mind to walk in destiny was Discovering Your Potentials. Dr. Miles Monroe. I will never forget what that book did for me. Understanding your potentials. I didn't even know there was something called potentials. And I said, alright, this is it. This is it. I will begin a journey read books on leadership you are always fighting with your sister at home it's a sign that you are going to beat up your wife get a book on fatherhood quick quick every small child you see you say me i hate children ah that's a revelation that you need to read something go to sunday school books cm read something read scriptures about jesus relating with children receive that impartation some of you are about to write your exams once again the mindset that brought you i patched three c's added two more and i came to this school and now god is telling you this semester you will have the best of results and you laugh you say where are them uh, where are them so 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 as if their success will stop your own I believe in myself. I know that God can take me anywhere. Do you believe this about yourself? Hallelujah. I will never be small in life. No. Never. I will do great things for the kingdom. This is where I like Christ, Christ embassy. Oh, they give you a mindset of a champion. They give you a mindset of a warrior. They, they shape a mindset that refuses failure totally. I refuse to be a failure in life. I refuse it. I refuse the limitations of my lineage. Whoever has looked at your family and said, can anything good come? You hold on and see. You are a miracle on your way to happen. Are you listening to me? Everyone. God has given you a music ministry. Every time you look at these great people, who told you you cannot become like one of them? Every man in the earth today was born. He was a baby in the hands of someone. A mindset took him to where he is. They asked Jimo Ibrahim, they said, what is the secret of your blessings? And he said, number one, the grace of God. He said, number two, knowledge. He said, sometimes I look at Nigerians, if they know what I know, they will live where they are instantly. Do you know that's true? The same way you can grow in knowledge and mindset and change different things. Look at what God is doing by the grace of God. The organization, the leaders and the rest. You think this is guesswork? This is not just prayer. 
many of you want great leaderships you want a great business great company great this you have the name but you've not read any book if you like go and register the name you will remain a broke failure in life broke failure until the mindset of god takes you out of that level hallelujah the people from my place drink they drink a lot i told myself that mindset i'll kick it out of my life i will never be associated with the evil that comes from my territory are you listening to me there are some of you your your clans or villages are associated with different kinds of things temper lust immorality demonic practices irresponsibility will you take this as a mindset and say it happens to everybody is it my fault that i was born from so so please hallelujah one day your father looked at you and said sorry i cannot pay your school fees and you had to fend for yourself are you going to allow your children to think like that many of you are shallow minded you're not thinking five years from now you're not thinking 10 years from now let me I, I, and i'm speaking to the guys most especially you are just growing old and, and, and growing beard on your face you are not adding anything to your head per day i never sleep any day until i add new knowledge to myself never my eyes does not see sleep until i add something the more you have knowledge you will be in command in life look at chinese north korea the whole hands their hands is like from here to here short people but they are ruling the world because it's not about their size it's about their intellectual capacity many of you need to begin to buy books is oga jordan around he didn't come oga jordan where is he? It's outside. Jordan bookstore is there. See, it's better for you to buy one trouser, 250, 250 naira on the floor. They may laugh at you, but not for long. I assure you, it won't be for long. Show me a man who will pay the price to change his mindset. You are in partnership with God for a victorious life. You won't die a failure. It may take a while. Hallelujah. Do you believe this about yourself? When God called me, I believed. I have never sat down to think, Kai, am I too small? Am I? No, I don't think all those kinds of satanic thoughts. Because I found in Philippians chapter 2 verse 8, it said, finally brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true i can go anywhere i can do anything if god tells me to build a 10-story building for koinonia off i go off i go you will be saying it won't happen you will just find out that will give you letter for the dedication confidence but i know whom i have believed see i want you to be confident about your life if you are not confident about your life you will need someone else to keep endorsing you there are many of you that will never be satisfied you do a nice hair you know it's nice you need 10 people to tell you it's nice before you believe what kind of life is that stop trying to prove points and settle down go for knowledge say i contend for knowledge say it yes you may stay in the house you fetch water from the stream you are still doing it right now fetch the water from the stream but carry your bible and carry the book say lord one day i will have i will have borehold and i'll build boreholes in my village hallelujah you eat once a week no problem in the midst of your pain just tell yourself i'm changing my mind i'm changing my life i told myself this thing long ago hallelujah i believe in ear and i i believe in where god is taking us that's why all the things that are happening today it's not a shock we are just grateful never a shock not at once see listen it's not happening because of joshua selman it's happening because of a mindset i assure you if you have it you will rise whether you are on jeans or you are it's about your mindset are you listening to me 
some of you god is speaking to you about bakeries you have passion for bread but you are sitting down you are saying bakery i went to school sit down there the day someone who will see prophecies are like rain whoever brings a container will receive with it and will run you sit down there and be delaying you will watch someone run with your vision and accomplish it i believe that by the grace of god one day we'll own our television station debt free we won't stand on air telling anybody please bring 35 dollars and five cents no because God has given us the law of prosperity. It's a matter of time. Gentiles will come from. A day will come. It will be a privilege to partner with us. Oh, it will happen. Do you believe this about your life? I believe a day will come. When I will not even be allowed to buy anything with my money. Because people we have changed will be too grateful. Too grateful. They will make my daughter headgear by force. Just as a way of. It's my mind. It's my mind. One day my child will say, Daddy, can I have this in the freezer? I say, go on. I didn't enjoy it. Have it. What will your child say the day he calls you, Daddy? Will he say, Daddy, I have something that I want to discuss with you. Why are we like this? change your mindset you have received a wrong mindset many of us do not like what we receive from our parents but you are already becoming what you hate because you are not doing anything about your mindset exactly what you hate you are already becoming it i refuse to remain the way i am i contend for knowledge i won't behave like a nigerian i'll behave like a citizen of the what is in it for me that's the language of Nigerians. Chop, I chop. You can never help somebody and go quietly. What is in it for me? Wrong mindsets we got from Nigeria. Many of you are adopting it. You like it. Someone says, do you have the number of somebody? Yes, I say, I have. Send me 200 naira recharge card. You think you are joking, but now you are used to it. But I deliver you from that mindset tonight. Tonight we are going to be praying. So number one, go for knowledge. Number two. Consistently speak the word of God. Consistently speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. Speak the word of God. The word of God comes with power. The word of God comes with hope. hallelujah i was talking with the protocol team yesterday and i was telling them a day will come who will have bosses bosses e -S 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 bosses that we can give a way to help many people look at today by the grace of god we are going to shika tomorrow and sunday hallelujah and we're not even thinking about the budget oh well we do this the grace of god we are going to now start becoming a blessing to others you if you do not believe do you know many people will suffer because of your mindset you can be a blessing to the world i refuse to be where i will not remain in this state next month i should have left this realm of reality to a higher one i learned this from samadayami Oh, I have certain people who have mentored my mind. Some of you sit down there. God is telling you, listen to Samadhi and me. I'm Matu Ashimolo to understand success principles. Your pastor is there with his mindset. Telling you, don't listen to anybody again. He's a broke failure. It's just that he's called. He's sitting there and he's educating you in your little world. And you will not break boundaries and see what God is doing internationally. Was this message preached by my pastor? No, I won't listen to it. And you remain there. Hallelujah. You see an elderly woman speaking wisdom about family life. You won't humble yourself and listen. You say, I'm a pastor in my church. You are fumbling, fumbling in life and you won't calm down and listen. 
are you learning something please see you must begin a project and tell yourself you are changing your mindset i'm changing it i'm changing it hallelujah when tosin was the former treasurer she surprised me when we just started koinonia listen when we just started koinonia this offering bags that we have was a personal donation we just started and she made at least 400 and she began to tell me she said josh i think we need to start preparing for a counting machine counting machine she said because i see increase coming what's your thought like your many parents didn't plan they put one small house with one garage they never plan for increase that's how many of you are thinking my little life my house one room all the children will stay me and my wife will stay an extra room where we are fighting she will stay there that's your mindset listen say after me i break free everybody inside and outside i break free from the mindset that came from my village that is associated with my lineage tonight i break free in the name of jesus i declare that i rise above cultural limitations i rise above the limitations in africa the world will hear my voice i'm the head and not the tail i have books to write i have lives to change I'm a leader yes that's how you speak and then you behave like one you start composing yourself like one no misbehavior iron your shirt dress smart if you are babbing bab well don't bab as if they took light and, and, and you ran out be smart it doesn't matter what you have your notebooks that you're right be smart when you get up in the morning dress your bed keep your room clean you are behaving like your de your future many of us are still behaving like our past god gave you a bed you are still remembering the days of the match you don't need to repair match you just stand up and leave your bed sheet. white bed sheet it has turned to brown visitors come and say have seat please dirty bed sheet like that you are not going far with that mindset some of you are ladies you won't go far forget about all these things work on yourself this night hallelujah you want to be a leader you cannot sit down the day five thousand enters your body you are you are shaking you must see that you must spend everything you withdraw it and just put it in your pocket you are not using it but you are just happy you are just walking around filled with anxiety what kind of life is that see i'm challenging you we are going to pray but god is speaking to someone enough is enough are you going to continue where your parents stopped or you are going to rise god gave you a job you are not doing your best now they ask you why you say because i'm collecting ten thousand bible says he who is faithful in little hallelujah are you listening to me i break free from mindsets i want to teach you four things very quickly right i taught it some years ago to help us conduct ourselves very well and behave like leaders i want to teach you four very important words number one please write it p-l-e-a-s-e please write it quick and look at me please because we're going to pray we're out of time look at me many of you this is the singular word that has cheated you from your destiny you can never say please carry this in and give me please. everybody say after me please did he kill you say it again please learn it this is why many of you were not voting. They, they didn't make you the president in your family.
never become it because you cannot be cautious let me tell you something when you tell people please it's a sign of value on them that you respect them that you honor them the highest psychological need of any man is to feel valued and to feel important please can you help me please can you do this please tell him i may not make it please learn it this singular word has made people millionaires and has made others broke and they will continue remaining where they are as failures please please i may not be free now please i may not. hello 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 call me call me call me i don't have credit thank you you are praying in tongues i assure you you won't be a leader if i am the person i'm i'm doing interview for your employment i guarantee you i will employ you guaranteed guaranteed you may be attending koinonia i will employ you guaranteed hallelujah please please Can I give me cold water my chest this food is hot give me cold water is it your own you came to someone's house they are treated please everybody say after me please learn to say please i'm teaching you how to be a leader learn to say please some of you you only say it when you are in trouble please many of you guys if only you told the lady please she would have said yes you carried your mouth and just came tongue talking but no manners grace but no character I want to talk to you. I'm saying I want to talk to you. You are going come now. Is he your younger sister? And then during relationship program, say there are some people here. When we tell them to come, they won't come. Why will they come? Why? It takes a lot of humility, and it reveals a sense of maturity and courtesy. When you tell people please one more time say please say it please number two i'm sorry i'm sorry has made two nations to go for war one demanded a public apology the other one said over my dead body says all right we'll kill ourselves over our dead bodies i'm sorry listen when you say i'm sorry it's not a sign of weakness is a sign of tremendous strength many husbands have fought with their wives because they cannot say i'm sorry pastors are fighting one another they cannot say i'm sorry hallelujah politicians are fighting themselves they cannot say i'm sorry you called me a pastor instead of a reverend just say i'm sorry say uh -huh. Uh -huh. i'm sorry i'm sorry ah why didn't you i'm sorry see sometimes you must not be the one at fault to say i'm sorry sometimes you just need to say it and let it be there is a saying in my language that if because you are holding bone flies are disturbing your mouth throw the bone and let the flies go with it nice proverb not dull proverbs that don't have meaning very nice proverb hallelujah everybody say i'm sorry I, you didn't do anything but just say it you are learning say i'm sorry now turn to your neighbor and say i'm sorry some of you to sting your ego that's the mindset i want to go out say do it again i'm sorry from today listen now that i have access to you i must teach you and you must learn it by force tomorrow will not be able to say it pastor to members whatever i'm sorry when you hurt people tell them you are sorry i'm sorry sometimes you may do it unconsciously whenever you are aware i'm sorry mean it from your heart not this kind of wicked i'm sorry that is even more painful it's better to keep quiet they say two of you apologize i'm sorry is that a problem? see two couples who call for counseling okay it's okay it's okay say i'm sorry I'm sorry. Say, darling, I'm darling, I'm sorry. You know that this, this, this is not, they are not even ready for reconciliation. But the Bible says God has given us what? The ministry 
of reconciliation. Everybody say after me, I'm sorry. You must learn it. People hurt you every day and you are hurting others as much as they are hurting you. So you must get set with I'm sorry. You will use it many times in your life. Are you learning something this night? Is something changing in your mind? Many of you, after this grace, you just need to call. You are broken. You are suffering because you didn't tell your father I'm sorry. They would have sent you money since January. You have not received your allowance. Now it's March. Only that day I'm sorry. I shouted at you that day I'm sorry. And Monday you will get an alert. But you are sitting here. You are dying. Your father is enjoying. You are suffering. Please, after this, go and take your phone. Or break your pride and help yourself. Exam is coming next week. I'm sorry. Number three. Thank you. Thank you. Look up. Look up. Do you know thanksgiving is the principle of multiplicity in the realm of the spirit? Are you listening to me? When you thank someone for what he has done, he will reproduce it. Hallelujah. Thank you. If someone does something good to you 20 times, say thank you 20 times. 20 times. Don't say I said it one. I, I said it one. Huh? 20 times. Thank you. Say after me, thank you. An expression of gratitude. An expression of compliment. See, these are the things that make people to love being around certain atmospheres. Some of you now see the reason why you don't have any friend. You are your only friend. Your environment is, is acidic. It chokes everyone that comes around you. Thank you. Someone buys you a present. Someone says, ah, um, you were supposed to iron your shirt. I just ironed it for you because I thought you'd be praying. You say, eh, eh. That's exactly what you do to your wife. She just cooks. I said, darling, nice meal. He said, mm -hmm. I'm reading newspaper. Thank you does not kill. Thank you. Everybody say after me, thank you. You go for an interview. Please, may I sit? Yes, you sit down. When you finish the interview, you say thank you. You are talking in a meeting. Whether business meeting or leadership meeting. They say, alright, you speak. Thank you for the opportunity to speak. This is what I have to say. Ah, people will be looking at you. They'll say, now we need a chairman for this. But before they say anything, they say you are the one. You see the reason why many people pray in tongues. They pour gallons of oil on them, but they remain where they are. Because their mindsets betray them. You got first class, but you don't have manners. No character, wrong mindset. And you are not walking till today. Hallelujah. Everybody say after me, thank you. You must cultivate it. Tell people thank you. Someone adjust your seat. Someone held you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't say if I speak too much, I'll become cheap. Say mindset. Where did you get it from? Finally, God bless you. Oh, you must learn to bless people. When I taught it four years ago, I added one, I love you. But our society has become so bad. You tell someone I love you, say you mean it. He's of him to say thank you. Say, ah! Why did you say this now? So let's stop at God bless you. <laughs> we say I love you when we're in Colonia here. Or you go and tell your classmate tomorrow. First you say, my God, this is unbelievable. Ah. Say after me, God bless you. In Jewish days, if you curse your son, they will, they will stone you to death. They blessed their children. Even the Lord spoke in numbers to Aaron and said, In this manner you shall bless the people. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. It was a benediction of blessing 
that was given to the people every time. Many of you don't bless people. They come to you, they go back scattered and battered. There must be words of love. See, just these things I've taught you, I assure you, is enough to make you an extraordinary leader. Let's review it very quickly. We are praying. Number one. You, you see, you cannot remember. Number one. Say it. See, some of us are feeling like big boys and big girls. You see, this is the, this is the mindset. When you say, please, you are feeling kind. Like this thing where you are making us become like children. Are you mature the way you are behaving? Number two. Number three. Number four. Don't never forget this. Begin to use it immediately. Begin to use it immediately. It will work like magic for you. See, many of you are already feeling a healthy esteem about yourself because you're announcing that, ah, so I'm having some secrets now. I'll go and try it. Let me tell you, it will open some doors for you beyond your imagination. Please, use it for your roommate and see the way they will love you. Say, this is my roommate. You don't know my roommate. That's why no matter what I use, use it. Just use it first. Rise up on your feet and let's pray. Strongholds of the mind. Walk around and pray in one minute and say, Lord, I have a mindset that needs change. From tonight, begin a journey in me. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside, begin to pray and prophesy. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Lord, my mindset, my mindset needs adjustment, needs realignment. You have begun a work in me. Help me. Show me the relevant books, the relevant materials, the relevant knowledge scriptures that will change me hallelujah look at me we are still praying you are going to pray guys all this sagging your jeans you sag it down and you tie you tie your belt on your, on your laps instead of your waist it's called stupidity and childishness no lady will marry you like that grow up this night and start behaving well. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Yes. Lift up your voice and pray. And say Lord I begin to walk on myself. Come on you are a leader. You can't remain a child forever. Compose yourself. You are going somewhere to happen. Pray for yourself sister. Pray for yourself brother. There's greatness in me and I'm going somewhere to happen. When I was a child, I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. I understood like a child. Now that I'm a man, I lay aside childish ways. Lift your voice and pray. I take responsibility for my life. I go for knowledge. Pray. I go for knowledge. I go for knowledge. I buy the truth and I sell it not. I stop a life of falsehood and I contend for transformation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All of you who are going, you are living for service, lift your hands inside and outside. I want to pray for you. All those who are going for service, lift your hands. We're out of time. In the name of Jesus, May the Lord honor you wherever you have been sent. I speak to you, fear not. It doesn't matter where you were posted to. I command that the Lord will cause the earth to bring increase for you. Go and reign. Go and conquer that territory. You are well able. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that as you go, your road is blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ, that at the end of one year, you will be a champion. That at the end of one year, you will do exploits. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your spiritual life. You will not forget about God. In the name of Jesus, go and be a leader. We send you to be a leader wherever you are. Your qualities will distinguish you and make you a leader. 
I pray for your place of primary assignment. May the Lord favor you without any human connection. May the Lord God of Israel favor you. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I want to pray for all those writing exams. Inside and outside, please lift your hands. First and foremost, I terminate the mindset of failure from you. In the name of Jesus, whatever lies the devil has spoken to you, forget about yesterday. It's a new day. Forget about your test. Forget about what you did not do well. I impart upon you courage. Run with the spirit of Elijah and write your exams. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you, you are well able. Take on your papers with the heart of a lion. Go and conquer. Go and subdue. You will not weep. May the Lord honor you. May he reveal things to you in the night. You will not read like a slave. May the Lord open your eyes. May he direct you. Walk under open heavens. For those of you who need financial backup, may the heavens be open over you. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord raise men to favor you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every sickness that comes during exams, I banish it from your life. You will not be a victim of malpractice. In the name of Jesus, no one will implicate you. Whatever you read, you will not forget in the exam hall. Let it come in the name of Jesus. Even what you did not read, may the Lord bring it by impartation to you. Go and excel. Do exploits in your academics. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you thanks. Very quickly, you are here and you are not born again. You've not given your heart to the Lord. That's the first mindset that needs to change. That you do not need a savior. Oh yes, you need a savior. The Bible says, come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest. I believe that there are people inside and outside who have never made a decision for Jesus. Or you made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Right now, I'd like you to leave your seat inside and outside and come out. Welcome home. The Lord wants to give you a new beginning. Are there people like that? Leave your seat and come. God bless you. They are coming. I appreciate them. Thank you, sister. Thank you, sister. Don't let anybody stop you. Welcome. The Lord is calling you into a great outside. God bless you. They are coming. I see them coming from outside. Appreciate them. This is the greatest decision. Keep coming, sir. Keep coming, my sister. God bless you. That's the first mindset that needs to change. God bless you, my brother. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. We salute your courage. Thank you for coming. Keep coming. They are coming. Please hurry up. Let's save time. Keep coming. God bless you. It's the beginning of a journey. Hallelujah. Listen, it doesn't matter where you have been and what you have done. I want you to know that today can be the beginning of a brand new day for you. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you unable to help myself. But today, I have heard your word. And I believe that you are able to help me. Lord Jesus, I give my heart to you. Be the Lord of my life. Take total control of my life. In the name of Jesus. Satan, I have no business with you again. I will not return to my past life. I am born again. And Jesus is Lord of my life. Hallelujah. I appreciate you for making this great decision. Look at me. This is the best decision you have made in this life. This is the beginning of a great life. I want you to know that you will experience the blessings of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this lady go. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. Our devil of darkness. She's giving her heart to the Lord. Come out of her now. Spirit of infirmity. Let her go. In the name of Jesus. Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Please follow the ushers very quickly. Appreciate them as they go. Follow the ushers. They'll have your details quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
now you're worshiping with us for the first time please leave your seat and run out here if you know that this is your first time of worshiping we have a blessing for you outside we are waiting for you come on run here quickly god bless you my sister thank you for your boldness hallelujah quick 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 please appreciate them thank you for coming thank you and thank you for hurrying up that's how your life will be <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah keep clapping appreciate them thank you so much hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is koinonia put together by eternity network international where you bless this night go and use what you've been blessed you will shine with it in jesus name hallelujah stretch your hands and let's pray for them saints of god bless them we bless you we only have words of blessings upon our lips and we bless you with it we are anointed and when we speak over your life you are blessed we command the blessing of the lord upon you we declare that in the name of jesus you begin to move forward in your life advance move beyond your former level in the name of jesus may the lord cause you to prosper may the lord cause you to walk